All right, here we go. We are live. No, no, no more of that intro music since we're putting the shit on YouTube, finally. I, I could sing for us. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, country no, boy. I think we're good. <laughs> no, do you ever find that? that you on hate the road shit? again? Yeah, yeah. If you're, you know, with your accent, you come across people that don't have your accent, and you're talking with them, and then all of a sudden they got a southern drawl. How fucking annoying is that? Look, in the Marine Corps, in the Marine Corps, we um, as soon as I went there, the first time I said y'all, because I was the, the the guide, so I was always talking, was all over, and it was it was so all they wanted to do was hear me talk. Yeah. And, hey, talk. Hey, say y'all again. Like, it's not a <laughs> severe Louisiana southern draw. draw like someone from Alabama. But, well, let, let's officially introduce our guest tonight. Jason from New Orleans. You've seen him in Lenny's channel. You've seen him on our channel. Tell us a little about yourself, what brought you down here, and uh, what you've been up to since you've been here for a week. Uh, what brought me down here? That's a crazy question. Um, Y'all brought me down here. I am 100% <laughs> uh, a true Delray Misfit fan. I mean, I, I'm... We well, don't use the Ford fan here. We say maniac. Okay, well, that's right. I'm a, I'm a maniac. <laughs> Jason Genova says I would be, fans. I will be in the top 1% of, of, of a maniac because it's um, it's unbelievable that it's been five years since I've been watching y'all. And it's – um, I kind of stumbled across y'all um, looking up some stuff under Delray. And then under Delray came up Jason's name. And I love bodybuilding, so I'm like, well, this – Let's see what's happening here. And yeah, you don't want to watch his channel for any bodybuilding. As soon as I, I, that popped off and I saw all of y'all on the channel, I was immediately hooked. I couldn't wait till the next day to, to watch. And it was just, it's incredible. So as that goes along, you know, I'm sitting back home and I'm like, you know what, I need a vacation. You know, I, I work my tail off. I'm a single dad. Uh, I have five kids. I've been working my tail off to provide Jeez. for them. <laughs> Yeah, um, got to so, work. Got to work on that pullout game, brother. What's, what's yeah, my pullout yeah. game is mine. Mine's, mine's like very weak too. Buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard. I know, I work on that pullout yeah. game. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's why you took the easy way out, Brad. <laughs> yeah, the easy. <laughs> what? Get a vasectomy? Yeah. Did you get one? No, unfortunately, I need one. Jesus Espe Christ. Especially looking around here. Oh my goodness. Uh, what's yeah yeah oh. shit? What's what's the age range? My oldest is twenty eight, um, which I'm also a grandpa because I have a. Uh, my grandson, she has a. Uh, you're a grand. Cold. You're a grandfather. I'm a grand. Wow. Oh shit! Jeez. How old are you? I'll be 49 in August. Jeez. I'm getting up there. So, and then my son, my oldest boy, is 20. He's Dean. He's a junior. What we call him the second. Um, and then I had twins, Kane and Victoria. Um, they're 16. And then my youngest is uh, Reese. We call him Reese the Beast because he's a <laughs> one heck of a baseball player. Nice. Good shit, man. But but then, uh, like I said, how did I get here? I just followed y'all and came here, and I asked y'all if I could come. And yeah, you started messaging me what? Like yep. a month ago or something. No, actually, I've messaged you two years ago. Oh no, for sure. my, my for the first time, I wanted to come here, and I just I wouldn't give up. And yeah, so I like two months ago, I started messaging you, and you're like, you know, look, right now is like the perfect opportunity, and it was a perfect opportunity for me, and. Here I am. I'm still y'all. Y'all don't understand. I'm still in awe. I'm still. I. I. It's. It's. I was riding with Lenny ten minutes ago, and I told him. I said, <laughs> yeah. "You have no idea. Like I'm still. Like I'm such just a, a super maniac. Like it's just. You get a front row. Awesome. You get a yeah. front row seat. It's like a Delray Misfit Fantasy Camp. <laughs> oh. Anytime we someone always, comes down here, we always yeah. welcome anybody that wants Absolutely. to come hang out. I wish there were more hot chicks. That. We're working on room and board and, li and living arrangements for us down the road for sure. And then yeah. your timing was even better because you, you're staying at the same hotel as Lenny. Yeah, so be a Lenny. It's a yeah, that's what I said because he had just moved back up here. He was. Yep. We were all so far apart for six months and being down in Doral. If so, it was yeah, it meant was, to be, right now it was definitely meant to be because everything's just been so, been so perfect. Even though the weather's fucking brutal right now. Yeah. We, well, we, what, today's the only day we really had, like, some serious rain. No, it's not raining. It was it was getting real humid. Last yeah, week, hot, last few the days, though, wasn't too bad. It was a little dry. Beautiful, it was yeah. a little drier, yeah. Gorgeous. A couple yeah. days ago. But usually the summer's just the weather's so unpredictable. Well, you're out there all day. I mean, yeah. It's a, it's a motherfucker. Brad, getting up early, going to deliver the, all his mail, all those packages. 
coming home, sometimes doing a podcast, coming to the gym, sweating his balls off. It's impressive. And then on his day off, he's doing all that landscaping, yard work. Well, today I, was, I had the day off. I was going to do yard work, but it rained, so I just, we just sat around, watched the movie, watched The Invisible Man, The New Invisible Man. How was that? It was actually pretty good. It wasn't bad. What was so good about it yeah. in particular? The special effects, the acting was pretty good, you know. It was a good good storyline. Kept you interested. If it keeps you in if it keeps me interested, like you you know within thirty minutes if you're gonna get up and walk the fuck out. I went to the car dealership yesterday and they were playing in the lobby while I was waiting for my car to get fixed. Fucking the mummy returns with the rock. What the fuck? <laughs> He was a, a horrible, he's an eyesore. He was a horrible fucking actor. He is. He's going to be an eyesore. And they, he, they're in the middle of the desert, and they're not even sweating. They all got nice haircuts and shit and good teeth. Back 3000 BC, it takes place. It's like, can you fucking make movies that are, make it a little bit more fucking believable, <laughs> will you? Jesus Christ. I'm wondering. I notice stupid shit like when that. When people ask him if he's me. taking anything as far as PDEDs, is there anything that we can watch to see his answer? I would really like somebody to confront about that. They don't want to that. admit what they're taking because most of the shit's illegal. If it was legal, they'd say what they take. You can pretty much look at him and see what he takes, but I just want to hear from his mouth. Of course. Total I would honesty. love to know his stack. But it's good yeah, information. You know, hey, that's why he's looking so young and so good. He does. I'll say that. Without a doubt. Uh, Lenny, someone just DM'd me a question to ask you. Uh, I want to get my one and a half mile time under 15 to 20 minutes and push-ups about... 18 never been much of an athlete and stand right now at six foot one 201 pounds in about two to three months i hope to apply to become a police officer here in arizona good luck yeah currently i work for a law enforcement agency at night uh, 9 p.m to 7 a.m and it's hard to get good sleep considering i'm also a full-time student any advice from lenny more specifically about Training. I'm getting my push-ups up and my one and a half mile time down. Uh, I know you guys are being flooded with questions, but I really would love the help. Take care. That's going to require very brief training and a planned out day, step by step, and obviously consistent eating. But best thing to help a push-up is going to be a bench press, and that's where the strength will come. Push-ups is an endurance movement. As far as getting your time down, aerobics that can definitely make good progress as far as getting your time down Th throw some sprints in there at the end of your one and a half mile run start off with maybe about 1040s or 1050s at the end of it very little rest between sets to me that'll build up some more fast twitch fibers and get your time down a little bit does anybody else want to give them some advice no but i wasn't That's asked it. you a, a question if you had a son and he told you dad i want to become a cop what would you say to him right now Considering the climate that's going on in this country and even around the right world. Right now, I would say no. Get a foot division one sports scholarship. That would be my main advice. For yeah, anybody. but not everybody has the. Well, if you don't, but I did, and I let my father. No, but so. I'm talking about someone who wants to pursue a career in law enforcement, given the the current climate in this country with everything that's going on. I would tell them, do your job to a T. Ultimate professionalism. Don't play the. No, what he's buddy, saying buddy. is, if you if you right. had a son and right. he wants said, "Dad, I'm looking to be a cop." Yeah. What would you say? Anything he'd want to be, I would support. Support, but obviously doing it the right way. I'd find some veteran cops, and there's plenty of them. Or well, you're sitting one. next to one. Yeah, you were exactly. A... Go talk. What to are him. your thoughts? Where, where where were you a cop, and how long were you a cop for? St. Tony Parish Sheriff's Department, one of the best departments in in the nation. Um, Sheriff Randy Smith. Um, he's doing an outstanding job. This is his second term in. Um, it's, I love that job more than anything on the face of the planet. Um, I was there for four and a half years. Had to resign from my wife's job. It took us to uh, Texas. And then when I came back to Louisiana, I was just so busy. My construction job was making so much money. Because back then we were only making my my pay was six hundred and thirty six dollars a week every two weeks. Get the what? fuck out of here! Three hundred and twelve dollars after taxes. What year was that? That was in um two thousand ninety nine, two thousand, two thousand and one. Oh, my, okay. my my total pay was seventeen. It was like starting pay was seventeen grand before before the state pay. 
So to deal with all that shit, to that's deal just with, your to life. Deal, that's and, what people don't understand. And they want to defund. You know what? They need more funds for fucking yeah. better training. I think now and your start vetting. pay is probably about forty five grand. So it's gone up significantly. That's still. N- that's, but when I first started, dude, that's not I literally enough. was, you know, I was pe- basically paying to be a police officer. But I loved it, and I, I would, I, you know, I one hundred percent believe. Our, it's, it's not a policing problem. It's it's a fundamental problem. It's a leadership problem, and it's a training problem. And I'll give you a little example real quick. Um, when you get pulled over by a state trooper, your pucker factor or your butthole is, <laughs> is way tighter if it's a trooper than a sheriff because you know the trooper has a, sh- a bunch more training. Well, they're usually and he's from not mil- going to take any bull. Used, most state troopers. And most of them come from the military. Right. Yeah, yeah. As the sheriff, you're like, you know, most of the time you can just talk your way out of it. So imagine if every one of our cops were trained with military style training and had that to go through. That's just, I think there's too many weak ones make it through the the uh, the the hole they that they get passed through. That really shouldn't be there, well, and that's well. Probably the reason for that is is how are you going to get good help when you don't pay nobody? A hundred percent. What that's, the fuck? It's it, the pay. It's, it's starting with pay. You're gonna ri- you're gonna risk your life for that amount of money. Go fuck yourself. Starting with pay. No, there's there's no yourself. way you're gonna go out there and risk your life. No you, could you imagine? Um, as bad as I want to be a police officer right now and go back to the job. There's no way for the amount of money. So I'm going to go risk my life for everybody, which I would love to because I love protecting and serving. Um, but the problem is, is if I make one minor mistake, now the microscope looks at me and I could possibly go to jail for the rest of my life. Mm. So now not about not making any money, but could possibly make a minor mistake that could send me to prison for the rest of my life. Well, not just a minor mistake. Look at the cop in Atlanta. Which you would consider a big mistake because he killed the guy, but that fucking guy but, punched him, stole his fucking taser. I, I, de- this, I definitely, I, mean, I, de- I don't agree with that. It's, I'm, I'm with you on this one. That's that was definitely done wrong, and, and yeah, I'm, but I'm mean, hoping it'll else, come out. What else was he supposed to do? Absolutely nothing. It's the only thing. I mean, yeah, shoot him in the leg. But do you have that good of aim yeah. when you're in the middle of a scuffle? And the That's what running? Joe Biden said. Aim for the leg. Yeah, okay, Joe. Let's see you fire. A fucking <laughs> I've, gun. I've been in that well, situation. You just got your ass beat. So I've been in that situation, so I'll just let you know what I would have been thinking. This, and that's where I said this is where the training comes in. If the guy, we already know who he is. We have his car. We have his information. Who cares if he runs away? You're going to catch him. We're going to catch him. It might yeah. not be today. So what we have to learn, that that's, that's we have to just let it go. And right now, too many cops can't let it go. Yeah. And it's, and it's, and it's, not also just a training thing, but that's that's human nature. Yeah. When somebody does you wrong, you want to go after them. But it's just not the, everybody thinks the same. Not everybody has the same kind of mental thinking and, and capacity. The same so, thing applies with high speed pursuits that you see. You know, 100%. You, you watch some of those, and I'm thinking, Jesus, let the guy go. 99 you know? of them, I want to go a, let him go. He blew a stop sign. We, we, Big we, deal. You don't we, have to no chase pers- him at 110 no, miles no an hour through a residential that's, that's, It's not, it's not going to happen. Well, I know down here, they don't, they don't even chase motorcycles. Because they're like, they'll never oh, catch him. You got no chance. No. Right. That'll go, but that, they, some they, motorcycles they, will go 180, and you're, you're on a fucking bike. If you collide with a car... You're really not going to do much damage to that car. You're you're going to be the one. That gets How many killed. times have you watched the episode of Cops? And on the radio, which they took they off, told the, them, which they took off the air. They canceled that show and Live PD, yeah. both shows. Imagine that. Why would you want to show good police work? That, that's what they wanted for us to, to video and show everything. And now they want to take it off the air. Yeah, exactly. The fucking they just stupid. Want to show you. Look at these bad cops every day. Yeah, we got a serious problem. Yeah, the defunding is about to begin. Hey, look at Atlanta. What happened? I heard 500 911 calls got it disregarded because of lack of staff because of walkouts and sick calls. Well, on July 4th as well, in our Independence Day, NYPD, I read, is going to be staging a strike starting at 3 o'clock. 
when you know everything's going to start to get crazy in the city that are all just going to call that, out sick that's, that's great that's great to let the public know too so now they know they can go fucking rob and <laughs> yeah <slip>. thanks <laughs> a lot LA, <laughs> la riots chief daryl i don't know if it's definitely going to happen pulled out when they started rioting he pulled out say well this is what were you, you want? Were, was yep. going to happen were you uh and they regretted it you were in the service during the la riots i was in the i was i was at i was brought to la for we were we were that's what Clinton dropped us off. It was the end of 91. Was it ni- Just, 91 or 92? For the international maniacs who don't know what he's talking about, look up the Rodney King riots. Rodney Los- King beating. Rodney King beating. Rodney King riots, Los Angeles. Well, they have a, Reginald Denny. They, they yes. have a Netflix. Ooh, that, that's rough to watch. Yeah. Jesus. They have a Netflix uh, yeah. special on it. LA Burn, 92. Burn. MF Burn. It's, he's that's, so forgiving to this day. He'll yeah. go out With a big dent in his he's head. He's met his attackers and... You know, offer publicity. Damian Williams. I watched that trial on court TV. I remember it. He got acquitted of the, of the most serious charges. They they put him up for attempted murder, and he got acquitted. This guy's just doing his job, driving through. They wouldn't do that if the big J Masters was in that trial. Well, I don't know. Now they, they might. Now they out. just yeah, might with no the way shit. he's running his stupid mouth. No, he's too big and strong for that. <laughs> but the size of him is a deterrent. That's why I'm, I'm saying it. you got to prepare yourself. It's up to you, maniacs. You can't go walking around with an unathletic body. You got to train your mind and your body. You have to be able to at least punch a heavy bag. Every gym has one. We'll, well look. Start at, well, look. It. Look at these random beatings now, where they're just yeah. running like that kid in Harlem that walked by that old lady and uh, punched her in the side of the fucking head. Yeah, Thank Adam McLeod. A hundred horrible. times he's been arrested over the years. One zero zero, and now it's one zero one. The other guy in the in the store that walked up to the. You know the the kid and yeah. hit him, knocked him out, knocked him. That's what down, they get for trashing the mafia up there. If they had a mafia like they did back in the eighties or nineties, think that would happen on the streets? Hell no. Yeah, they're attacking all the twinks. Go attack. Let's, you know. So what happened He's during the L.A. riots when you were put out there? They they stopped immediately before we even got there, <laughs> and what was really fun is while we were out there, all of the cars that saw the trucks heading into LA and with all our gear because we were we had weapons you were in the service weapon you were in the Marines I I was in the Marine Corps it was Marine they sent the Marines they didn't send they always always send the Marines first National Guard was already there Uh and they were still riding and that's when they said you know what Uh, let's send the Marines we have a few that'll be willing to go and I was one of them and we got in the back of those trucks Sent about thirty trucks down there before we could even get out of the trucks. Everything everything halted. You're probably disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> what are all the countries you've been to as a serviceman? Ooh. Okinawa, um, Miyagi, Fuji, Sama. mainland Japan, Fuji, Bosnia, Somalia. Yeah, I've been to a couple of unfun places. I've I've I've, I've seen. What was Somalia enough, like? Uh, the, the worst, the worst. That's that's young kids. Carrying, AK, if they're big enough to carry the weapon, they carried it, and it's just, and they were willing to take aim and shoot at you. Also, that's that was, I don't know if, if anybody's familiar with the movie Black Hawk Down. Yep. <clears throat> but, you know, we were there. It was um, it was like probably one of the worst situations I've ever been in. Hmm. Seems like every time a Democratic president sends troops, they always make a big disgrace of themselves. Just like when Jimmy Carter sent those helicopters to rescue the hostages back in 79 and i ran they malfunctioned in the desert and what they do captured the pilot made a f- joke out of them they got that helicopter in one of their little museums look we took down the devil rode the bullet train though that was awesome don't want a democrat in where what country to bullet train combat. what country like, do you want, it's that train that does like 200 miles an hour oh, yeah. from tokyo to Goes around that the thing's crazy. I, yeah, I rode a high speed train from Madrid to Barcelona. I think it went one sixty or one seventy. This, this one's the this one's the fastest one they have. Yeah. I think I, think, I want to say it's one eighty one <laughs> or two. I can't remember how. I, I know it's just stupid. Lenny's fast. thinking about running another. Train. It's almost as fast as Dale Chance drove. <laughs> the tranny train. <laughs> right, I'm thinking was the train high speed or were you high when you went on that train? Both. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get three extra latches put on my door, staying at his hotel just in case. I didn't know if he would be coming up knocking on my door at night. So how long did you serve? How long were you in? Uh, it was a total of seven years. 
Yeah, they pretty much own you for eight, right? Yeah, that, that's that's your, your eight ends your your unactive uh, reserve. I think Brad would have done great in the military with his work ethic and such, camaraderie. Probably would have had a good time. I was going to go to the Air Force actually because yeah, I, I had, a, I had a good grade point average, and I was. But at that age, I was just too rebellious. My grandfather had tried to get me in because he was in the Navy. He was in World War II. He was in the Navy. Do you think you could have been retired now? Yeah, no shit. VA benefits. Hey, whatever. It is what it is. Me too, but I fucked up. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I was out of my mind at 18. I didn't now look do at you. well with just the cookie cutter. Uh, yeah, I didn't do well <laughs> with authority back then. Not like I do now, but you know. Yeah, I'm just a, and now I'm just a yeah, we remember when you got told to tuck your shirt in. Yeah. <laughs> we all for a black it. female sure, supervisor <laughs> seems to keep you in line these days. Huh? I, I, it's a pay at the post office. No, my supervisor now is an Italian guy. The guy that I told to go fuck himself, he, he's a fucking oh, yeah, I <laughs> jerk off. I'm a little douchebag. Yeah. Napoleonic complex. Yeah, exactly. Just a short man complex. He couldn't stand me because I was a shop steward for years and it used to piss him off when I'd file grievances or get people out of trouble because he, you know, he knew that they were wrong or doing something wrong. But when you can, when you file a grievance and you have to go through the union, you have investigative interview and all, he would lose, he would lose all the time. He tried to discipline people and he was always stupid about it. He never did anything right, you know, and we have to dissect all that shit. You, you know. It's almost like a lawyer for the carriers, you know. And I knew a lot of these people are fucking, fucking off at work or whatever. But I still have to defend them. That's my job. And he pissed him off. Fuck, you know he's a fuck scumbag. Didn't come to him. So what? What if he was sick? Shut your mouth. He was just an asshole. He took everything personal, you know. You know, it seems to me there are a little lot of punks on it police force with a power trip like guys have been beaten up well, that is a problem oh, of course of course they, because they're basically nerds their whole life and they're squeaky clean right. because and, and of then, that and then they get a little power you yeah. know like oh now i'm the bully i've seen this many guy used to bully that. me yeah. and now i'm gonna be, yeah there's a lot of shitty cops man it is what it is but there's a lot of good ones too and they but shouldn't be defunded going that's, back to the thing if i, I don't even son. know why that's even a conversation right and what are you gonna do right you want to dismantle the police department okay well really Guess they, they want to put the funds into their hands. Right. Well, all these rich celebrities and shit that are endorsing it, too, they don't give a fuck because they can get private security or their own police department for their city. They don't care. That's almost like a good it's idea. Just, all, it's going to just affect the, that's what's the bad I think neighborhoods. That's, the worst. I think that's the future of law enforcement. Private hey, they security. Have private police in Boca yeah. by the beach and in Delray by the beach. That's, I think it's coming. It just might. It's just, you know, in the bodybuilding world, which we are a part of, I've seen a lot of comments you can, on... You can exclude me from Dave that. Dave Palumbo, he had a good discussion. He brought some <laughs> guests on talking about Ray's, Greg Valentino, John Romano, Tricky Jackson, Sean Ray, and a few others. Uh, it was good for the most part, but I'm going to admire Craig's honesty and bringing truth to it. Well, he's always like that. Greg Valentino Very good great. points. Yeah. But, you know, there's some people with their comments that... You're coming from an irrational perspective. I don't like to talk about it because to me the R word doesn't exist. I don't let it exist. You know, I it, my track it, record's it, proven. I treat everyone the same. I don't look at color. I don't look at anything. I look at a human being. Human, I don't recognize right. color. Human race, not any yes, other kind. Exactly. We're all I've been that way my whole life. And I'm going to give you maniac some advice. They try to suck you into it. They want to know what your opinion is. You know, a lot of people are asking PJ, who else? You know in the bodybuilding community, spoke the truth. He didn't say anything wrong. He said the kind of thing that would bring people together. And he wished no ill will to Keon. And I just think Keon's been very ungrateful. 100%. Uh, Keon, Keon was one of his athletes, yeah. correct? Yes. Okay. Whose PJ always spoke highly of. Yeah. And went out of his way to help him in his career and wished him well in the future. But PJ said the most perfect thing you could say and he's getting tarnished for it and I read the comments it's fucking and ridiculous it's, and you know like they said Herman Goring had a little black book of names of people like mostly communists who you sound like you're snoring over there <laughs> you should try wearing the headphones Holy shit. Who, oh, yeah. people who that crossed <laughs> him or needed to be looked at in the book so I got Lenny's little black book so to speak just to keep the names and the ideas and the, and the comments made by these people in the industry. 
I saw you commented on his post. You said, Keon, you're a, you're a sheep or a cookie cutter sheep and a creep. <laughs> yes, I was very dis- creep dis- is disappointed. Creep yeah, I know. Very disappointed in, in that and implying that PJ is something which doesn't exist. Far if from anyth- it. If anything, he should be sticking up for PJ. Cause he kn- yes. He, you know, but he's just following the fucking crowd. And others in the industry. The cancel cut, these little Particularly bitches. Faoud from Canada. Who I admired your physique, your training methods, but oh, and there's all these you know bodybuilders and shit. I saw those comments. Oh, congrats to you, man. Good job, by you. good job. Why? My my Why? question to Faoud is this: What the fuck are you talking about? What if we came up into your supplement warehouse and took all your product? Would that be okay? If we came up and rioted and looted your warehouse or your home and right. took all your steaks, is that okay? No, it's not. Idiots, man. What was Keon standing? You know, to for somebody to 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 dap him. What, what was he standing up for? I don't know. What, he just said there was a difference some, of opinion, right? Right. Not, that's really exactly what it was. Wait, wait, hold. It, it has nothing to do with a black or white situation, which they're making. But that's what they always turn it into. Let's a hundred percent. Let's take this back to the beginning. What did PJ one, say? A bad cop arrested a bad guy, and he totally was wrong by the way that he handled it. And the minute that they said because the guy just so happened to be white was the cop and the guy on the floor just happened to be black, it's a white and black thing, which it's not. Go back to the beginning. It was a bad cop and a bad guy in a bad situation, and that's how we need to deal with it. PJ simply said all lives matter. Let's move on from the George Floyd. Mm -hmm. Stop the lighting and the ruining. They were praising George Floyd. Law and order. A guy who beat, you know, was supposed to rape that's the all woman. P- that's all Held PJ a gun said. to the belly yeah, of a yeah, pregnant woman. Yeah, I would like woman. to know what all these all these guys marching for him. If if that was their wife, their pregnant wife it's at exactly, home, it's exactly that got a, said, that a so gun, had a picture up. And right. Said, what if this was your mother, daughter, that George did this to? Right. Would you be praising him? No, you'd want to fucking absolutely not. Did he die in vain? Yes, he did. Do we need to praise him? Absolutely not. Well, now he's turning into the black Jesus. Like, they act like this guy was a fucking... Well, you look at Black Lives saint. Matter, which Greg Valentino rightly said is a criminal terrorist organization. They always celebrate the criminals of society. Do you have any idea how many millions of dollars are being donated to them by big companies? And where the fuck Amazon, is it going? Where's Apple. It go- where's it going? Millions yes. of dollars. Have they yes. said where it's going? It's going to the lawyers. They- that sue well, lawyers for what? To sue the police departments, to sue cities are you serious? on behalf of this. Yes. It, this is about the bottom line. Who are the leaders? Of is there a the, hierarchy? George Soros is basically, and his son are basically the main funders, and it's a trickle-down effect from there. George Soros isn't a black man, though. No, he's of a... Of course not. He escaped, he got, he's a Holocaust survivor, no, but who, right? Who? No, he is a collaborator, a supposedly a Nazi collaborator that was Jewish. That turns a lot of people in so, as a young man. That's what I heard. So, so all, so all their, all their donations, all this money is just getting donated to BLM, but nobody knows where the fuck it's going. It's going to the lawyers to, in turn, sue the police departments, cities, and whatever. Not on making, behalf of their clients and their organization. Not, not going to the. It's uh, an industry. The struggling black community to, to help them. That's where our taxpayer dollars go. Oh, yours, okay. rather, yeah. right now. And Andrews, that's where that's who's helping them. I don't know why nobody's asking these questions. They so first of all, it's not promoting the media. Can't. A lot yeah, of people it's are. Be, it's against the rules. But they're Correct. attacking them. And like I said, people it's a on YouTube. profit organization or whatever, just like a church or something. It's going, by the way, it's going to become a political party. Yeah. It's going to become I, I, a political I party. I believe that. They, they need more political parties. And all just lives wait. matters point, give, makes you the R word. How about, no, how about no lives matter? At the end of the day, you're right. You become dust anyway, so. Right. They, they say that because it's like a, sn- like Jay said, it's like a snarky remark to them saying black lives matter. Well, all lives, you know. You, but there's no stopping. There's no appeasement. Of course, they're li- everybody's life matters, but you can't say that. They could have those you entire can, police you officers you on the scene in Minnesota. Canceled. They could all get the death penalty. They still wouldn't be appeased. They're coming for more and right. more, and they're, sadly, they're getting it. But what do they want now? Money. It's all about the money, the bottom line, the lawsuits. Well, they're still marching and protesting for defunding, right? Yeah. Okay. So the money goes to them in an indirect way, sure. They're waiting for a bill to come along 
that's going to. So they're going to protest for how many fucking years? This shit doesn't it's happen. It's not going to stop. It doesn't until, happen. Until the until money they, runs out. Until they get a bill passed that's yep. given them. Who's them? Given the Black Lives Matter. Who, Whoever's going to be a part of the Black Lives Matter, I don't. Is it only blacks? I don't. I don't. I don't. Well, that's know. what I'm saying. Where Where are the demands? What are, exactly that, that, do they a, want? Because it's not. It, it's not just black people want. out there uh, promoting right. Black look Lives at, Matter. Look at Seattle. Seattle. Who, who gets a look part at of this fucking bill. Seattle? I would take a fire truck and hose all those fucking dirty hippies down. They probably all need a fucking bath anyway. Why the fuck are you <laughs> letting them take over seven city fucking blocks? Cut the power, and who, cut the water, get them in there. Don't let them out. Wait, How about that? Who's to say that's not going to happen in New York next or Chicago they next? Will. Because they let it happen in Seattle. The way it's going, they will. Yeah, so they, they took it, over like nine right. city blocks. It's well, I like think they, they reduced it down to three. They, three now? They compromised. compromised. Something like that. <laughs> wow. Ever since they started the riots in Watts in 1965, which I believe was the first type of race riot in this country, they've gotten huge benefits from that. More funding, more welfare, EBT, whatever, and they all use the system. It's more and more. Well, and hey, more if it works for them, I guess they yeah. should keep yeah, doing I it. I understand it, but I'm just saying. We're going to get a universal income, which is you, we talked about a universal later. basic income. Yes, yeah. that is coming. And of course, it's we should stopping. all we should all fucking get that. I'm Italian. I come over here on a boat. My whole family did from just just two generations ago. Uh, uh, where, where's, yeah, you look like you paddled the fucking thing over here, too. <laughs> <laughs> and Andrew and myself, I don't think like our ancestors paddle. were basically here for no more than 100 years, correct? But you, Brad, you need, some, need to do some apologizing. For what? You're an Anglo-Saxon. Oh, I got to apologize for what twat I came you out of? You better start Sorry. kissing feet. Take Sorry. A, I, take a knee, Brad. I, I believe out, I it's a good chance. White, like it's I a good chance your ancestors were slave that, owners right. or whatever. Fuck it. Well, yeah. On this table, my so. My last name is very common, and a lot of black people have and it. Been and they probably took the name of their slave years. owner. So, yeah, probably. So. Take a knee like Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. Kiss my feet. Two idiots wearing fucking scarves. I know. The only way you're going to redeem yourself is you go to work. And all the black employees sit in chairs, men or women, you come up and kiss their feet. Some of them I would kiss their feet. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple chicks in there. Yeah. In fact, I want, I, want to, I want that on video once I get my shirt. I want it, That's a good idea. We go feet washing? Yeah. I'm going to say, I want, I want to apologize. <laughs> and I kiss your feet. <laughs> Can you believe these motherfuckers? Uh, kneel down. Da- kneel. You need to kneel down. What? The people doing yeah. it. Fuck. What yeah, wrong with these people? No. I don't know. There's Begging of, for forgiveness. The, the level of stupidity is at an all-time fucking high right now. But you know what? Those people that kneel, I'm like, okay, you committed a crime. We're going to lock you up. Let's see how much you want to kneel after that. You're going to get a nice little jail sentence for that. You've admitted a crime. It's like a weird episode of the fucking Twilight Zone. It's fuck, it, This is fucked up. Man. But Did you notice the physiques? <laughs> And the things that those people say in those organizations, and I believe there's a lot of <laughs> veganism. Wait, the physiques on who? They're horrible. Those Antifa people. They're like oh, so-and-so who remain it's, nameless. It's bad, it's bad. <laughs> that type of physique. Yeah. Did you see the one, the, the big right wing? I don't know if he's a security officer. <laughs> they punched that guy in the face like he knocked his teeth Why'd out. Why'd you mouth that lines. name and not just say it? Who gives a fuck? No, I can't say it. But do you notice that? <laughs> I know. I believe a lot, most of them go by that vegan lifestyle. And when you don't have the amino acids, your brain gets turned. You lose the will to fight. You lose common sense. I firmly believe veganism oh, has something to do with that. Very little common sense. And as a man, obviously, you're very weak and passive. It's called uncommon sense. Yes, and it's veganism not plays a huge part in that. I, I don't even know what to fucking think anymore. It's, you can't even watch the fucking news. It's just, the news has turned into just, it, it's all opinions. There's no facts anymore. It, it was great when the news was facts. Fine. Well, I don't want to know. I don't care what some. It's a lobby group. Queer on one well, of these that, channels has his opinion. It gets all serious. That's because just, everything you up. see and hear right now on the news is all about the optics leading up to the election in November. You have those who hate Trump. You have those who want to reelect Donald Trump. The mainstream social media hates him. They have an agenda. They want him out. Guess what? You know what it's about? Views. The media is about views. It's always been like if that. They bring, if they come to the table and they have anything that they bring is out of the ordinary, they don't give you the whole story, but bits of the story and part of this, and it keeps you looking and gives them views, it's exactly what they're going to keep doing. That, that The media will never, ever since YouTube started, ever since the, the, the camera guy and this audited America and all these guys, ever since that's happened now, 
it will never be the same. They don't care. Ever. They don't care about being right. They care no. about being first. Yep. Exactly. That's yep. It. yep. First 100%. one of the. That's it. And then, then oh, later, later on, oh, okay, well, like that fucking seventy-five-year-old man that got pushed down in Buffalo turned out to be a, one of these fucking jerk offs. He was trying to hit the police scanner with with the phone. <laughs> he had some tubes yeah. hooked up to his yeah. ears that he pushed a button to make his ears they bleed right away. The well, you, and fell down. They didn't report on that shit. Was that substantiated? Was that proven? They showed pictures up close of this fucking tubes in his ears and shit. He's no an agi- shit. He's a known agitator. Yeah. Probably an original hippie back in the day. Yeah. age. Because I know Trump posted on Twitter and everyone said oh, it's a conspiracy theory. But I, it, it, but they I, I never that. knew if there was any truth. And they fired it. the cops, and the rest of those cops said, "Fuck you." I love if I, if I was a cop uh, close to retirement. Goodbye. Take if you I can mean, retire, yeah. get gone, the baby. fuck out now because you're gonna gone. get fucked when you stay. I feel bad for the young cops that have their whole career ahead of them. Well, that's why I asked you the question before, Lenny, about if you had a son, would you? And he told you he wanted to pursue a career in law enforcement because I. I they were saying on Fox News that police recruitment right now is at an all-time low. They can't get anyone to join the police no, academy. There's, there's no way impossible. It's and I'm telling you what's going to happen. Is I I, I kind of you know this is anybody that goes into the military, probably their first choice when they get out of the military is going to probably be to go be a law. Say, and they should look, you join they the military should, and then go serve four years as a police officer and then. You can get back into the real world. They, which they, sh- they should get first. Should be, is a pretty cool, the cool military, idea. the military should get first crack at it when they come back from deployment or whatever. When they're out, they should have the first dibs at, at getting a job with the police force. Absolutely, we're going to so. need more police than ever. But my, as we talked about earlier, don't come back and don't can't get fucking jobs. The private so police so forces. That's where the future lies. If you own land, you have the right to have your own police force. Privatize everything. This Absolutely. is what sucks about the police. The, about like right the now with police work. Look how that's worked out. You, nobody, like, with Fill everything that's going on and how they're going to have to change stuff around, now you're going to have to sit here. Anytime you pull somebody over, if they don't feel like being bothered with, bothered with you, how how do you detain them anymore? How do you get them out of the car? You, you're not going to be able to. It's just, it's just not possible. So what we're doing right now is making the situation so worse. Well, it won't. It, it's of course for criminals. If you're not a criminal and a oh, cop yeah. pulls you over, you ain't got nothing to fucking End worry of about. stuff, and you walk away, and you you never have another problem. No I interaction remember, done. I had friends growing up whose fathers were cops, and they always told us when we were younger because we were fucking crazy. If you ever get pulled over, yes sir, no sir. Don't ever show a cop disrespect or they're going to make your life fucking miserable. Right. They'll find a ticket to write on your ass. Aladdin had the perfect protocol. He said he gets pulled over. He stops, puts his, turns his car, puts his keys on top of the hood, and then puts both hands on the wheel. And when they come over and ask him, can I have your ID? He goes, yes, I'm going to use my right hand and grab it out of this compartment right here. Before he moves, he says that. He says, where's your license? Oh, I've been the little console. They always I'm ask gonna, if you have a weapon, too. Yeah, right. and that's, that's what he, his protocol was. And that's the one to use. Put your keys on top of the hood. Turn off your car. Put the cop, put the police officer at ease. Don't make any sudden movements. When you move your hand, you tell him before you move. And you put those hands on the steering wheel. You don't argue. You see him argue. And you see those guys argue. Like, what do you think you're going to get out of resisting? You're just going to get know. more time added to your sentence if you get... Do a, Black Lives Matter, do they ever have any... Uh, in, do they go to the communities and bring the kids in and have a workshops and bring in cops and say, like right this along. is what you do. Yeah, this is what you do. When you get pulled over, no, they could care less. They want these incidents to happen. I saw a video the other day where these cops are getting smoke blown. At, their kids are right in front of them. Yeah, I saw that. Fucking yeah, that was really right bad. Fucking yeah. face yeah. Blown, and these cops are just standing there like... He had, a, he had a, ri- yeah, a riot gear face guard on, and she was blowing smoke right up underneath it into his face. No. And he just stood there st- poker-faced. I don't this know how this isn't it. about the R word. This is about good old-fashioned communism, which started in the 50s. The, the plan is break up the family, make the father look like a buffoon, make him useless, put the parents against the children, this big wave of child abuse at the start. You'll turn your parents if you get, can't smack your kid. Feminism. Women are being discriminated against. They don't get the same money as men. You know, every, every, women cost the cops and you're locked up. That's their plan. You break down society, lose respect for law enforcement, then they take over. And the leaders of the communists, which are the elites, they are the ones living like kings. 
and that's what they want and that plan's in place and they're they're doing a good job of it and i don't know how much more we can hold out since Paul Mark was on the podcast, he said Donald Trump is the wrong. only speed bump. Speed bump at right best. now. That's, that's true. That's preventing that from happening. He's an old man. He's not going to be on forever. No, he'll have one more term, and that's that. Breakdown. Have Break you it spoken down. to Synthal Mark since all this? No, I no. heard he lives in Orlando right no. now. He'd be good to have him on now. Yeah, no. Big Richard too. Yeah. He might come on again. And I'd like to hear from some people you and every tell me that are. I feel like with Black Mesa. I want to hear their side of the story, honestly. Well, you might soon. That'd be great. I'm on the podcast. Let them speak. Yeah. I'd like to know. Listen, whatever. It's fine. You want to do this, but where? where's... Don't you want to... Why aren't you asking questions of where all this money's going? I know where it's going. I sure hope it's not going in fucking Al Sharpton's pocket. Of course it is. How much <laughs> does he get to speak? <laughs> and he's a reverend, so he doesn't have to pay income He should taxes. be in jail for a few incidences in the past. Yeah, he's a fucking piece of shit. Even the black, most black people don't even like that fucking guy. <laughs> they know he's a piece of shit. People I work with are like, fuck that guy. Well, that's where the Black Lives Matter are there. He's young. what they call a poverty pimp. That's the term they use. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it on that uh, talk show with Roy Ennis. I think it was Geraldo. Roy Ennis knocked him right yeah, out of the chair. Like a, I loved Roy Ennis. Roy Ennis was yeah. great. Geraldo. <laughs> look, Geraldo Rivera That's not even his real name His real go, name is like Jerry Rivers Jerry Go on YouTube and look up Roy Innes No Roy Innes was He was I think he fought A white supremacist If I remember correctly That was a different episode Yeah it was. He never punched Geraldo no. Geraldo was the host of the show They threw the yeah. chair yeah. No he knocked he broke Geraldo's nose <laughs> Yes Roy Innes knocked Al Sharpton When Al Sharpton was fat Out of a chair He's a fucking... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, that's Al right. Al Sharpton, oh, right. I, I remember. He now. went fly. Yeah, that's I, right. I saw Al Sharpton in New York City. I yes. was on that TMZ sports yes. thing, giving him the thumbs down. He looks like the fucking guy from Tales from the Crypt. He's all skinny with this fucking... Yeah, he, yeah. Yeah. he hasn't aged well. Gastro bypass surgery. The cameraman was getting pissed at me, too. That's why they cut it off right when I did that. All right, Jason, I just got a DM. Tell Big Swole on the podcast that his nickname is fucking retarded, and he's not muscular, just fat. You're not supposed to like your nickname. Oh, Jay she... Buy you. Buy you. Well, you don't seem too upset about that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> look, 312. Um, They're saying the you look like yesterday. Mussolini. Uh, <laughs> Popeye, <laughs> Mussolini. I've heard a few. Uh, Popeye. I will say this. Right now, I have no idea why I'm carrying this much fluid. Because I've. Uh, you ha you have a fucking idea, buddy. Uh, yeah, you no, guys going out every day well, eating that, all that salty food at that. Well, that too, and then that, uh, I've never that, that MK six whatever. MK six. I've seven, never seven. taken that before, and oh my goodness, I'm telling you. How many days? Like have my, you? I only took it for two days, and uh, I mean, I, you can ask him when I got on the scale here. I was two ninety four. And I said, I, I said, I guarantee I'll get to three hundred. Yeah, but you're hanging with him. Eating. You're hanging with him every day. You're eating like an animal. I know, I've never eaten like this before. So, <laughs> well, yeah, so, just, so yeah. Well, so to put, on eating more. So look out. Yeah, yeah. MK six seven seven. I don't. I don't think it works right away like that. But when I when I took it, I was I wanted to we, eat the. Fucking we have some walks. training videos Third coming up where you can see appetite. where I carry more muscle. But I'm I, I am definitely um, in off season mode. Do you, um, do you really think you're you can compete with that kidney issue? Oh yeah. It's just, Have it's you done because, it before? Because when I'm dieting, I'm, it's I, I put little, less less protein in my body anyway. Less protein. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's just it's just I have to. <clears throat> you might need a CPAP, to balance it out. CPAP machine for that breathing. Oh Jeez, bad. To balance it out, it's just um you know it's just now it's just a part of diet. When I diet, you know I don't do a real high protein diet anymore. I don't have to. Um, and then it was, like I said, it was the three variables that were tearing me to pieces. And it was my high blood pressure. My blood pressure was 190 over 150, 190 over 115, mm -hmm. walking around every day until I finally started taking medicine. Now I have it, I have it to 120 over 70. Um, I, I hated drinking water. And I've kind of forced myself into getting in more fluids. Like I started drinking a gallon of milk at night to at least get fluid in me. Um, and then I try to drink as much water as I can during the day, so that's helped. And then with the hypertension, I mean, just try not to stress so much. So 
I've made so, a big so, improvement so since no, two no, years you should ago. Not, so no, you should not be competing and putting all those drugs in your body to <laughs> yes, I to should be. That's to walk that, on stage actually and be part and it'll it'll actually help. Banana I mean, hammock. Like I don't think fruit. any of you guys should. No, it's not. Fuck it's, no. it's not gonna. It, my kidneys will actually get better, eating healthier, and losing the weight because I need to trim down. Right now, I shouldn't be carrying this much, you know, muscle and weight. It's not good for my kidneys. But like I said, as long as I keep those other points in check, mm-hmm. I'll be fine. And like I said, I'm look, I got two years to 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 make the run for this and you know, I can't body build forever. But I promise you, by the time I hit fifty, I'm gonna bring a package that's that will blow everybody's mind out of the water. Next year, not one maniac will be disappointed in how I look. It will be first place Dale, all the way. Dale Chance 2.0 yeah. right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you got to say, yeah, buddy. <laughs> it's the yeah, remix. <laughs> so what are the next nicknames we got? <laughs> Dale Chance. Buy you bullshitter. That's, Buy you That's bullshitter. Jay's nickname That's for Jay's him. Nickname yeah. for yeah. Palms had one, the Moose, you know, from Mussolini. That's not bad. Kind of clever. Moose. The Moose. Oh, someone said you look like um hey, Moose. Sloth from the Goonies. Yeah. No, man. Rocky I'm just Rome. telling you what I saw. <laughs> hey, you guys. Uh. <laughs> Jay, that was, a, Jay, good, that was Jay, a good movie, though. Jay's yeah, starting to look like fucking Grimace. Yeah. The fat purple fuck. Yeah, I, I'll give you that one. I wish he was here so I could break his balls. Now he could get mad. Yeah, he'll he, hear this. Song. I wish he went to. Uh, moron. Let me tell you something, Maniac. Some of the, one of the best gyms I've ever went to with Big Swallow the past couple of days. Is he got so bad. The Red Con headquarters. And I wish Jay was there. I wish all you guys were there. You got to check it out. And all Maniacs, you come to see us, we're going to Red Con. What's, fu- what's funny is Jay called me asking where you guys were because you weren't answering the phone. Give me, give me Jason's number. Lenny's not answering his phone. I know they work out around 3.30. I want to go with them. I said, I think they already went. I talked to Lenny a while ago. Where'd they go? I'm like, fuck. I said Red Con, and he was silent for a second. That's blasphemy. <laughs> I'm like, shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? The staff about? treated us like Out, gold. He acts like, he, he acts like he's actually sponsored by Black <laughs> right. PJ couldn't give two shits about him. He's so weird with shit. Jay has he, very strange sets of principles. Yeah, you got to take a sign. You have to know him to even, understand. Even though shit, ha- the online beefs that, ha- yeah. that he inserts himself into have nothing to fucking do with <laughs> I him. Know. Do you think PJ would answer the phone if, if Jay called him? Yeah. He responds to him in DMs and shit. Oh, does he? Jay acts like a fucking buffoon the other night with that rant that he went on. What the fuck are you thinking about? He needs... We've told him how many times, fucking turn your phone off when you drink. That's it. Turn it the fuck off. And then he goes on that rant. This is a guy that just started a YouTube channel. Where where the fuck do you think you're going to... How is anything going to grow when you act like an asshole? You sabotage his own shit. And then... but. And then they fucking call us and want to say shit to us like we're like, like you have any control. he's affiliated with us. We have no control over that asshole and none of us agree with him when it comes to that shit. He's completely out of line. It's fucking embarrassing. And then it, it, he's embarrassed too because he'll delete it the next fucking day. And then he'll just, he'll never take responsibility for the thing, it. I just, I think back to like my most drunk nights ever. Exactly. And shit, I've had a Fuck bunch of them. Like that. I've, I, I couldn't, I would never do, you know what I'm right. saying? I would never black out and do something like that. Yeah. No. It, that that's a cop out. You can't keep blaming fucking being too drunk. It's enough already. Yeah, he's done I, so I've many, never, he's I've done that shit so many times, but now is really not the fucking time to be. Yeah, no shit. shit. I mean, you got. Yeah, that's, that, that, and that's, he's not getting it. No. You know, I, what's, he's what's very going? defiant, like a little defiant kid. You he know, just, like you said, he just started his channel, and I think. And that's awesome. And I think he's he's actually, you know, he's got almost fifteen hundred subs yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. in a few like days, bouncing up there. But he's he just has to he just has to pick and choose. And no, he's got to post and choose the wrong battles. Yeah, and then he'll post a video filming a, a steel reserve can and breathing like you in the fucking camera, <laughs> breathing like me. All right, you bastard. Like what the fuck would you put like that a that moose on in heat? What would you put that on YouTube for? Or filming a, a just a random kid's fucking charge? I don't know. Like he he could make decent content. Like with his lifts and the knowledge that he thinks he has, because he's he's always right when all his Look, I'm telling all you, his you, lifting advice and right. shit. Looking back and looking at it, <laughs> I mean that's him and lifting. 
Look, I, I, the, with content, anything, anytime, I'm, I'm, and I'm coming from the outside. Remember, I'm the fan. So when I wanted to hear anything from Jay, I wanted to know about where his bench was coming. You know, he was talking about he wants to be, you know, break the bench press record and all that stuff. And look, I'm down for that. So stick with that. Stick with what yeah, works exactly, for you. Cause, man. Because that's working, brother. Because let me tell you something. You're, you're strong SOB. I will give you that all day long. He gets the most respect when he puts up those big lifts. Yeah, 100%. Instead of acting like an asshole. Like, I mean, you can be somewhat of an asshole, but he he's he is just fucking notorious and it, for crossing and the it line. all ends up on youtube in permanent ink forever and nobody forgives right hell no you have a bad night you drink too much you black out you say some shit and it's on internet forever it's like a restaurant permanent ink would you eat at a restaurant and they serve bad food and yeah, would you go back nope and you're not going i don't care what the, they can change the name they can do you're not going back yeah, that experience is just just the thought of going like I possibly could go there and it possibly could be the same people. I'm not he, going back. He actually it's not he worth thought, the trouble. You know, it's funny when he was at when you guys were up at the house that night and we had the fire and we're sitting there and mm-hmm. you know and Valerie was questioning about why he's such an asshole <laughs> yeah. to Nate and Livia and why he's such an asshole to Kim Haynes and he's just he didn't really have an answer. He's like, what did he say? Oh, because the trolls like when I do that. She's yeah. like, well, what the fuck is that? Why, you know, because they like when you do that shit. And then he's sitting and we're all like, Jay, what the f-? And he's sitting there, well, I feel like this is an intervention. <laughs> it fucking should be. He, 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 yeah. It's about time he, need, he needs one. Put down the fucking the beer, for Christ's sake. You know what great shape he could be in if he didn't drink like a fucking animal? Wow. He did great for a whole year. A whole year he didn't drink and he was still fat, but that's just because he ate Jay and more. Jason came in ripped and did a show any kind. I don't care if it's physique, whatever. That'd be their tickets. And Jay already has the base. Yeah, definitely. You know, if he shed 100 pounds. No, nah, about 60 or 80. No, he's got to, he's got to come. It's, what goes of leg size? His upper body is, you know, it's a, it's thicker, but I'm. I think he could get 90% of his leg size back with the leg press. No, but it's about 240. It's about where he would need to be. Okay. And he's what, 330 right now? Yeah. Maybe so that's, more. Yeah, so that's 90 pounds. That's. Uh, I can see two fifths, two sixty. He's not carrying any weight in his legs. It's all it's all in his tits, his tits legs. and stomach. Yeah, his calves. Yeah. I don't know, man. He's a, he's a loose he's a loose cannon. So <laughs> he's our loose cannon. Not no, nah, I'm not claiming. Him. <laughs> Ran into the owner of Silverback Gear Clothing at Redcon today. Silverback, you Silverback went, crew. You guys, Silverback went, crew. You guys went to Redcon again today? Yes. Yes. Yeah, the second time. We're probably going to go every day. Arms. Yeah. The guy, Giuliani, is, she's the little girl behind the counter that helped us. Um, I can't remember the guy that's actually helping us. but Gabe. Um, His name's Gabriel. Yeah, Gabe. Really outstanding. Well, if you move down here, that'll be your spot. That's, Never been treated that well. Yeah. Never. Never. What? Tour of the place. Never been treated that well going to a gym. This gym, by far, is Aaron hit this one out of the box. This is one of the best bodybuilding gyms. Doesn't McLeod live right across the street from it? I don't know. Yeah. It's he, can, south, he can see south, it, I think, south, from where he lives. Roger, Rogers Circle, south, right? South, south of Clinton, Clinton more than you. Yep. Yeah. It's got a huge American flag in the front. Of it. I mean, gigantic. Like I said, the when you go in, you feel like training. It's out of Kent. It's indescribable. They have enough back machines in there. There's a section. So it's, a, it's specifically for they, back. They turn, there's like 20 machines. They turned a warehouse into the gym then. It's exactly. high ceilings and shit. It almost has a nightclub vibe yeah. to it with a two story. Gymnast. Two story. Or? It's not two story. It's just one story. But they, the ceilings go all the way up. It looks like something so, out of a movie too. When you go there, you feel like you're in a. In a different world. I, yeah, Jay's like, well, I'm not going there. They got a it monolift. looks like a nightclub. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it all day. I'm telling you, watch. Watch what happens. Look, look, watch, what, watch what we bring to the stage. Well, what's he, ba- what's he that basing deal. that on? Pictures on their website? Yeah, or Instagram or something. Right. They have where you can flat but dumbbell press, incline press, shoulder press, supports where you put the waist up, up and you push a lever on the ground. And it brings the weight right to you, like a it's self dumb, spotting it's dumbbell assistant dumbbell. machines, where you set the dumbbell next to it's in a in a rack. Did you guys film it? Because you explained going it's to, not going to. We didn't necessarily do anything. They have a skull crusher yeah, assistant when, machine. When you're there next time, film all that. We'll show you. Yeah. Yeah. It is unbelievable. You in the rack, 
and you push down with your foot and it brings the bar right into place and it spots you there it's just inc- that type of stuff is incredible the dumbbells the feel the grip the tension on your muscles there on those I think Flex Lewis may have some end point there because he's similar to equipment at the Dragon's Lair. He must have, but no, this is this is that's that's something that somebody came up with a few years ago. For, it's basically it was like with power. Who, who make who makes the machines? Did you read? Did you all see? different companies. Yes, yeah, all, all different companies. Yeah, when but, you go back <clears> tomorrow, <throat> film, film all that shit. Like it is, it it is like. outstanding. Why don't you do any Instagram posts while you're there and shit? You're never active on there. Stories and shit. We, we did. We were just I we were new to, to the gym. That. Yeah, all right. They were treating us right. We just wanted to make sure Instagram we didn't step on anybody's it. toes. You know. Yeah, you know how to post the no, fucking Instagram. bullshit. You can post her smoking a blunt and giving me the finger. She gave me that picture. I know, and then you posted it. No, somebody put. I didn't post it. Somebody put that on there for me. I think it was somebody. It wasn't it? Wasn't me. You're the one that has access to your Instagram. I didn't do it. Any of those pictures. They were on my gallery, and somebody posted it on there. I forget who it was. That's a pomps move right there. I want to get one of you, yeah. Brad. Right next to her, I want to get one of you smoking a blunt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't smoke that much anymore. Why? I just, I don't know. You I'm know. not a smoker, never have been. That, that's one Talk, thing I Taco don't, I don't Queen do. put a stop to that. No, she doesn't care. <laughs> I just don't have, I don't know, I don't have the urge that's as good. much anymore. That's good. Got it out of his system, Lenny. It yeah. wasn't fun anymore. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I always have if I want, if I happen to want to, but I just, you know, I can take it or leave it. What's taking its place? Something must be taking its place. Yeah. More of the alcohol? No. I, Pills? No, suds. I the suds. I'm not a pill person. Suddy. I guess you got to stay away from those fucking things. Sure. You want some more water? Yep. See, okay, maniacs. I wish I could film right, this maniacs, right now. Where's those equipment right. donations? If you, co- if you come hang with Lenny for a week, you'll have cankles just like him. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> My God, yeah, those dude. weren't like but that. If you want to be a freak, the other day you're gonna have the cankles. What? If you want to be a freak, super oh, okay, that's perfect. You're gonna have to have those. You're gonna have to have cankles if you want. If you want to compete at two sixty over is in right, shape, but you got to get to that point above, and you're gonna have it. It's not, it's not like, pretty. It's not that fun. looks like it hurts. You see Nick Walker? I get like USA that Championship. They called him cankles. Boston Long cut that. He's probably one of the biggest amateur bodybuilders I've ever seen. He's still growing from New Jersey. Incredible. Yeah, that maniacs. If you got cankles, you're a freak. Yes. Yeah. Of course, when you die it down, those cankles will be gone, and you'll be a rip too. Dude, he spent. He, how many days have you been here? You've been here a week, right? A little over a week. Been, been here a week to, today. He's got cankles. He can't fucking breathe. He's gained fifteen fucking pounds. <laughs> you're morphing into him because he's, he's Lenny. You're just like well, your yeah. alien powers are taking him yeah. over. I've been here. I'm going to seventy. Aren't you happy? Street I recommend Dixie Highway yet. So you you're gonna you're gonna wake up tomorrow with a big sty on your eyelid. Right. Now he's if just I, if that happens. I'm, yeah. Now he's yeah. just gonna get you on that GHB and go down to Dixie. For sure. No, <laughs> sir. Then the circle will be complete. The full. Yeah. Why don't you guys do a Dixie trip? Well, it's not Dixie anymore. It's 79th Street, Miami. It's too far. Yeah, that's fucking far. That's, that's a, <laughs> that makes Dixie Highway look like a joke. It was, is that what you hit when you were down there? Well, one t- time after the trapeze had finished at 3, I took a cruise down there. And it was just down east. There's about take a, th- take a there's cruise. About th- yeah. 3 you go to Liberty City. There's the worst th- part of Miami. <laughs> <laughs> there's about 30 or 40 walking around Liberty City down the alleys. I mean, that's you all are that's a out. fucking 30 or 40. 30 or 40. And some very nice looking. Who the very fuck? Freaky. <laughs> and, and what rational <laughs> person's head would think it's a good idea to go to the worst part of Miami at 3 a.m.? Well, what, there's <laughs> all those. I'm not the only one coming love. down there picking them up, Brad. There's about 100 oh, other guys. I, believe, I know. I'm just saying it's fucking great. Just a one time. Fucking one, two, hysterical. Two yeah, just a one time. Yeah, I'm like, okay. I'm living down there. Okay. Break. Okay, buddy. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, <laughs> uh, if there was only a camera on you during those trips, holy shit. I told you every shit. time I went down, I was honest. No, I know. I'm I saying if you, if you filmed it. Not a damn thing. If you filmed it. Yeah. <laughs> so if I move down here, Lenny, uh, and... We oh, happen- another one, another fan that comes and visits and says he's going to move here. Everybody oh. that comes here says they're going to move here. You, you realize that, right? <laughs> Hamburg's been saying he's moving here for years. Oh God, yeah. he, Rosilla did. He had enough guts. He, he tried to get every one of us to knock his daughter up so he can have a fucking anchor <laughs> baby over here. 
I, 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 I wish I could say, I, like, I'm, I'm probably like 96%. I, I, like I said, before I even came here, I've, uh, well, your kids are pretty much yeah. Grown. My kids are my kids are are, are, are growing. Here, except my youngest. Yeah, you could have 13. a few more in Florida. Why not? No, yeah. negative, negative, negative. You know what? You get any bigger, you'll be a bigger misfit than Jay. I have to. I have to go for this. My dream, man. I I want to earn my pro card at the Masters Nationals in the next couple of years. This is my only opportunity. I don't. I'm not getting any younger. I'm definitely not getting any prettier looking. And two years goes by quick, man. And two by two years goes by quick. You know, it's it's now. You know, I've I've I'm, I've caught up with my child support. Everything is great. You know, life for the past two years has been totally awesome. You know, I just I feel now is my time. And um, I mean, and then how do I shake? I mean, I come here, y'all. You know, welcome. You know, open arms, and I I I really feel like I'm a part of the family, and I'm just like, yeah, man. I, I really how do I how do I say no? How do I say no? I just I think it's just this is this it just feels right. When something feels right, it feels right. I don't care what anybody says about it. Yeah, and I don't care you, what anybody it, thinks about my intentions, about anything. Hands down, me and Lenny have goals. They're very close to being the same. Um and I think I'm, I'm hoping to think that I motivated Lenny as as the days I've been here, and he's definitely motivated me. Holy yeah, shit! Look at me. Put some fine tuning to my training, as far as keep my elbows in on certain chest movements, not lowering all the way. And he's been listening. Movements. And the uh, no, he's very coachable. Lenny's not a stubborn fuck. Well, unless you ask, unless well, you ask the guy. Unless, well, it, it comes up. Uh, what do you mean, Jay? Yeah. Well, if you don't do what Jay thinks you should do, you're either gay or you're stupid. If he doesn't like the way you train or whatever you're doing, that's gay. That's stupid. Nah. He's a brat. He's a fucking only. Like child. When he's an only child, spoiled fucking brat. Let's well, be what honest. he's this doing works is. for him, hands down. He's <laughs> yeah. strong. It doesn't work for me though. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 Every, it doesn't work for me. Everybody's different. You're right. You're 100 Your body. Right. Resp- everybody knows their body, and it's responds to different shit. So yeah, and then if if that's something you really want to do. And then you don't do it, and a couple years down the road, you're going to be like, why the fuck didn't I? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I will literally, there's no way. I can't do it. Yeah. I, I, this is my only chance, hands down. So within the next month. You get your ducks in a row. My, I'm going back, get my ducks in a row, and pack in the wagon. And we move in. You're going to move in with Lenny, too? It's something you guys it's something we, have you know, thrown around. We just have to see, you know, have to see what's going on with his current situation about, you know, with this stuff, and you know, if it's something that we have to do to 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 make end me, you know, ends meet for him, ends meet for me, or mm-hmm. do whatever we gotta do. I, I, I'm willing to sacrifice. Today he said he's willing to sacrifice. So, it's, it's, and that's what it's about: to making sacrifices to get what you want. And you, and we know what we want, and it's and, it, and it's and it's right there. You can see it. And I can and I can feel it. And you got till next Friday at that place, and you don't know where you're going. Oh, Alan's going to contact him. We have plans made. He's got plans made. Okay, well, try not to wait till the last minute like last time. Yeah. I One mean, thing. You fuck it. A week is kind of last minute too. I saw the NFL. We're having some doubts, Doctor Fauci, but it's too soon. Does anyone here think they're going to have whoa, another whoa, COVID, not, a COVID sh- cookie cutter shutdown? No, think that's coming. It's not. They can't. No. They can't shut down again. It, we won't. We the won't economy, recover. no. Especially not with everything that's going on. Well, right yeah, now. you sent me that article earlier about yeah. that, about them not playing an NFL season, or they should. He advised they, that they shouldn't. They might not proceed to phase two or phase three when they were hoping they would, but they're not going to go back. They can't. can't I hope not. Back. But possible gyms put, closing is that a possibility? You can't put I don't everybody think in so. quarantine again. Yeah. What do you think about those shower curtain type stations at those, those gyms? I've seen that some of them are putting up like almost like a bubble where each at bench or whatever. Has yeah, UFIT has that. In, in, between, in between each machine, they have Plastic a partition. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah like so if somebody sneezes on one of those, it's not going to. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> Nate, when I said he lived in a bubble, like so something similar to that. You know what? We were in quarantine for what? The, con- the world, whatever, for two months. And all the protests, rioting, and all this shit just negated all of it. There yep. was no point fucking doing it. 100%. It's, it, you just, it's 100%. It took away the exactly whole point. They just ruined the whole point down. of what they were trying to do is, low, you know, 
flatten the curve. Or Went out there, hot mouth and everything. Right, two Started months. blowing this virus around. Fuck yeah, you, and, and now it's just going to spread more. <laughs> here we are. Oh, but th- they're too busy arresting people going to church and trying to open up their hair salons. But you know, the hundreds and thousands of protesters and rioters and looters, we'll let else. them get it out of their system. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. You, you get a ticket if you were sitting at the beach. Like, yeah, if you were fishing in the middle of a lake, you couldn't do it. My sister was telling me up in New York, they can sit on the beach, but they can't go in the ocean. Why? What the fuck reason can't you go in the ocean for? But you can sit on the beach. It's all about control. Who's that coming from? Right. Exactly. Mayor de Blasio. Yeah. His fuck wife tried idiots. to steal the Lincoln Bible one time. You hear about that story? No. <laughs> she was at something at the White House, and they had the original Lincoln Bible where he swore on it for different, when he did a man's face proclamation and stuff, and it was used for a ceremony. And she tried to steal it. They, she had it in her, and security caught her. Are you sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> His uh, tan wife. Oh, yeah. You want to know what I think is funny? Is when, and none of it's funny, but the mayor of Minneapolis, that little frou-frou. Uh, the soy boy. The story boy. Yeah, the man child. Did you, did you notice when he came on that first day and he was telling his story and how concerned that he felt and it looked so fake and guess what they all saw right through it demand that he resigns this and that because if you couldn't tell the fakery Dude. and that guy from day and i think he set us back with that bullshit all these politicians are fake they're all phony fucks well he's the one who took a knee and was bawling his eyes out yeah. at the funeral yeah, yeah. acting like for, Oscar a photo op a photo op 100 percent he had no clue. He just wanted to jump on the bandwagon to think, oh, here's my opportunity to put myself in. Well, they were interviewing him or some, yep. somebody was interviewing him and they asked, oh, about defunding the police. No, we're not going to do that. And then they're like, get oh, the so, fuck out of here. Yeah. 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 No, they ran him out of, yep. the, uh, out of the whole room stage. Ready to I don't rocks. understand why that's even a fucking thing. Why would you even? That's so. That's the dumbass demand. You, if you defund them, it's. They want the money they're giving the police towards their program, Black Lives Matter. How can you expect to improve a program by taking money away from it? If you want to improve public schools, you don't take money away from it. You put money into it. Right. Pay- Sean Ray had the brilliant idea to have people from that neighborhood police those neighborhoods. What sense does yeah, that right. make? Well, like Citizens on Patrol, so the movie Police Academy. Well, there, there'll be no corruption then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sean Ray, shame on you for what you said at that little race uh, symposium on Dave's show the other day. I thought you had more intelligence than that. Everybody's very careful with what they're saying, too. You'll notice that. Nobody's yep, D- really going to say how they Dave really Dave had no business yeah. trying to get into race relations. He's not. He's far-fetched from that. Dude, stick to your freaking little protein powders, and you want to be bodybuilding career that you tried to have, but you couldn't. Who's this? Palumbo. And um, Mark Lobiner you know, applauded let's, Keon let's, for stay leaving. Stay out of politics, bro. Let's Mark O'Brien is a pencil neck fucking <laughs> douchebag. What? That fucking guy I saw because Jay sent me that post of a uh, Mack truck. He posted that that black guy in a Walmart or something going up to this twink white kid sucker punching him and taking something from him. Was and they're laughing sucker about punch. it. They're laughing. Like that's, that's funny. Mark Lobliner puts a laughy face on there. Oh, really? What if that was your son, Lobliner? You fucking of sucker jerk punchers off? killed people. That's that one punch. Oh, absolutely. Your head hits the concrete. That's it. How Just like that 92 year old woman. Her head almost hit a fire hydrant. Yep. And you know, they're attacking They're attacking wimps. They, I saw a guy yeah, so atta- attack this, this nerdy white guy in like a Macy's. Just gets the shit kicked out of him by this, you know, jacked up black dude. And they're going like this. That's so, a, and the guy's like, sorry, sorry. What are you? What the fuck? There's He's no just sorry. beating the living shit out of him. You can't take your hands and guy, crack, crack, rip his eyes out. You could do something. Defend yourself, you coward. Well, it's a sucker If you punch. don't defend yourself, you don't deserve to live. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's, that's fucking funny, though, right? But if it was the other way around, oh, then uh, no. That's the thing that these people are just claiming that blacks well, can't be racist. Yes, they can be. Well, we were talking before the podcast about the, the video that happened just before the George Floyd incident in the nursing home. I don't oh, know. Yeah. For yeah. those... For those who don't live in this country, I don't remember what state it happened in, Lenny. Michigan. It was Michigan. Look it up on YouTube. There's a, a um, I think he was about 20 or 21, young black guy who pummeled, 
beat the living shit out of a 78-year-old man in a nursing home. For no reason. It got a speck and of attention man, on the media. And the black man was a, was a nurse there, right? Something like that. I don't yeah. know. He was. Oh, I don't know what made him flip out like that. He may have been his roommate. He may have been in a nursing home. I don't know. He well. looked like he was wearing no, scrubs, he's though. Those, he's one of those. those he's one of the... Uh, the taking care of the people. <clears throat> nurses aid. Yeah, one of the nurses aides. Right. He's getting paid to take care of people. He nearly punched a hole in the guy's head. Yeah, yeah just kept punching <laughs> him in the head. Like, it's a very that, disturbing that, that happens, video. That happens how, how so tough, often at this point. How tough for you, you fucking piece of shit coward. But he steers that through the propaganda machine. Right. That that's retribution for yeah. some so-called. That's got to stop, and that's being taught in the public school. I know that for a fact. In the black churches... And in the movies and television shows, they are taught that. No, I have a, a guy that I work with, an older black man that's a, a reverend preacher on the side. He does Some all churches that. do speak He's to He's a that. very nice guy. He, Some he churches doesn't, don't. He doesn't approve do. of any of that shit. Yeah, but you know, a lot of them don't want to be called an Uncle Tom, and I can understand that too. But that's where it takes guts to say what you believe in. And like I said, I don't, I don't even legitimize that R word. And another thing I learned from Meow Man, these people can't be reasoned with. You don't even engage with them or you're a bigger fool than they are. Yeah. You're dealing with a warped mind. A warped? Really, a warped mind that really, you don't take it seriously. You walk away and you have to protect yourself. If that means carrying a gun, definitely learn how to fight. Everyone should look at basic fighting skills or punch a bag. Man, woman, children, whatever. Everybody should lift weights. Everyone should attain a... a certain level of fitness, not only for your own health and well-being, but for protection. Because there's not going to be police everywhere, and they're not going to be able to cover every square inch of everything. I, I hate it when people say, you know, you see somebody's car jack, where is the police? How do you expect them to cover every square inch exactly. of the bus? Police are here to take care of the aftermath. You have to protect yeah. yourself. Yeah, by the time they show up, the crime's already been fucking committed. Yes, and you don't part. go to certain areas. You don't go to certain areas by yourself. And the more intimidating you are, believe me, that's a deterrent. There's many times I went into despicable places because of my size <laughs> or thinking I was an undercover officer. Despicable. And Mark, this guy, you know, he's got both. He looks like an officer, and he was one. That's going to be a deterrent. I went to an all-black club. You think if I was a skinny wimp, pencil neck? They see the size of my neck and traps it, and my eyes bugged out. Yeah, they're not, they want nothing to do with I you. Said, but at the time I got locked up, I was <laughs> Absolutely in there, not. I was in Crazy there holding myself boy. Fact, two days after Christmas. And my mother's chewing me out on the payphone. And you guys, before me, I saw white guys getting on the payphone and black guys screaming at him, get off the phone, cracker. I need to make my calls. And the reason I knew this because when I was left there, the corrections officer in the room says, I never seen anybody on the phone that long. And I was like, whatever, you know. But Well, that's when you were 400 pounds. 300 pounds. And she's screaming, calling me stupid for like a half an hour. <laughs> and, uh, and nobody said a word. Not a peep. And the guy said, I never saw that before. I should have said, you never saw a freak like me before. But <laughs> you have to, be, don't be lazy. You know, when you're, as a man, you're required upon yourself to maintain phys physical fitness, strength, and the fighting ability, and intelligence, and to be able to work hard. You have to. That's your responsibility. And a lot of these Antifa members, see, that's where they look how they are. They don't want to work. They want other people's money. They don't like to train. They just want to sit around and look at porn all day and smoke weed, you know, and bitch and moan. That seems to be the majority of them. And they want, they see rich people, they're jealous and think they have a title to their money. Some Tifa jerk offs with the skateboards. Yeah. They're, they're not real skateboarders. They just carry that because it's a convenient weapon. What is a real skateboarder, Brad? You can tell by the <laughs> bottom of the board if it's just scratched up at all that they actually do anything. Okay, next time I'll check bottoms of skateboards. Yeah. They're pose. They're, they're what you call. You're proud of they're, they're what you call a poser. Oh. But a skateboard is a nice weapon. That, Speaking from experience. Well, the trucks on the bottom are fucking are metal. Yeah. And they're light. The wood so on there. It's you have very strong. Someone it's in the very past. strong wood. Jumping them outside of Cumberland Farms out in West Boca. Right? Pomp no, I didn't hang out by the trailer park. Pomp's ever beat anyone with a skateboard? <laughs> Pomp's just film everything. Was Pomp a poser or a real skateboarder? No, he could, he could. He was all right. Good. Was he as good as Nate? Nate posts his no, tricks. Nate, I told Nate not to do it. Next thing you know, he's posting up busted up That's, feet, bruised he, feet. For no, I said, what His happened, size Nate? being able to do that without breaking the board, is, that shows you how strong that wood is. Just like I told Channel Chance, I'm not wishing anything on him, but once I mentioned that to him, 
Soon enough, he broke his foot. And he's like, I was ready to cook it, cook it, skateboarding. Like, you were right. Uh, Nate messaged me back. Yeah, I stopped doing that shit when I was like 19, I think. I was like, that's it. I can't afford to get Just hurt. Just like I stopped shooting basketball Stupid. at 19. I was 15. 20. I loved it. I used that. to have a Mike McGill snake and skulls. I didn't know uh, you oh, shot basketball. Oh, yeah, with independent yeah. trucks. Yeah, yeah. Basketball. <laughs> I was Rat basketball bone wheels. Freak. I could dunk in high school. It was only 190 pounds. I was doing a vertical leg press, which uh, Brad Cunt has a old-fashioned vertical leg press. Oh, uh, yeah. That builds your hamstring jumping ability the way it is. Oh, yeah. What else is going on in the world we can talk about? I'm trying to think. Hmm. More lifting. <laughs> me eat more. Me lift more. Yeah. And learn more. <laughs> or what does Jay say? Uh, shoot gear, drink beer, and stay Red queer. <laughs> I wish you, I wish we, you came we, here. Me and Lenny I, came up with the three B's <laughs> as the the bitches bodybuilding and what was the what was the, the butt butt sex. <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> I think it was eating or eating, yeah, eating starts with a B. You fucking and women. dipshit. <laughs> he like just said your, three B's. <laughs> that's like your once a week treat. Once a week treat. What's once a week treat? You try to mingle with some women. Sexual turn on. Beating off. Starts with a B. <laughs> <laughs> After a teenager, it's not even fun to beat off anymore. It's really not. It so, so what are we yeah. doing this Saturday night, Lenny? Would you like to talk I'm about that? I'm making an announcement. I'm going Please on the do. new Universal Order podcast with Adam McLeod. He has a brand new studio. It's interesting to see how it contrasts with ours. I'm very excited in anticipation. I know he's got some good topics in the works. Yeah, I'm going to go. The thing f- about Adam McLeod is he kn- he knows a little bit about everything. He can touch on all different topics. It's not going to be, say, wrestling or this and that. It could be political, philosophical, basically anything. So I'm looking forward to it. Not that we don't do that here, but to branch off like that. I'm going to go and film. You're going, right, Jason? Yes, sir. You're going to try to go. Yeah, I told him, I, you know, the earliest I get He wants to start at 530. I don't, I mean, the earliest I can get off is five, five, but I usually, Saturday's usually a fucking pain in the ass because people don't like to come to work Saturday. So I always do extra work. So if I get out at six, we'll see. And this see is how far you guys are into it. This is like the official new Universal Order Studios. Is yes. that what you know? Is that yes. what we're going to? Does he have like Brand a new. Does he have a wrestling ring in there or something? I don't know, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to seeing it. He's a big wrestling fan. Yeah. How come most wrestling fans are out of shape? What the fuck is that? How can you How can you watch these guys that are fucking, for the most part, or back when we were watching it, we're all you know like Ultimate Warrior, Sid Vicious. These guys are all jacked up why why wouldn't that you know like inspire you to go to the fucking gym i always thought it did that's that was like me, me being a wrestling fan i love i'll ask wrestling. him on saturday i'm not you know whatever why the fuck doesn't he get his fat ass into the gym <laughs> you hear me mccuck i'm gonna ask you on saturday well, he was going right yeah he was he was, he was making sure he could you he, he was showing himself filming his feet at 5 a.m going to fucking la fitness like he's fucking hard, <laughs> hardcore here, you know. Like whoa, and then playing with, playing with, and then fucking playing with the ropes. You're not in a fucking <laughs> playground. You're in a fucking gym. Get on the fucking weights, McLeod. Jesus Christ. This was back in November and December, if I remember. That was before I, before I quit lifting for six months. But remind me to bring that up on Saturday, which I I will. Hopefully, I can get there. And break his balls. I'm eating a turkey wrap. I'm going to try not to do it into the mic. Sunday is Father's Day, so get some book cameos with Big Lenny. Oh, that's right. For a Father's Day greeting. Uh, I've been getting a lot recently. It, you got to do It's those. unique. I enjoy interacting with you maniacs. So nothing better to have a, give a greeting for your father for me because I respect nothing fatherhoods better. even though I'm not a father. And, of course, the three of you gentlemen here. Do you know that for a fact? It's, it's possible, most likely not, but I really haven't. Uh, I'm you don't, you don't think nutting in one of those crack whores 20 years ago? <laughs> I only nutted in two. <laughs> Which orifice? <laughs> you only nutted in two. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but all you guys, I mean, nothing better than being, that's what it's all about, being a father. You did so much shit. Everybody anyway. looks at, oh, look at my, on my Instagram, look at this, my car, my sunglasses, my shoes. Whatever, but when someone says, hey, "Look at these kids," I'm proud of it. Yeah, you know. Well, unfortunately, it, 
we sh- we can't put our kids online unless we want them attacked too because these pe- <laughs> these true. people are fucking animals. Well, you know what? Whatever kills them makes them stronger. Get them out there. Nah, get them stronger. Dude, the, the way shit is. It's the way not- shit is. People should be looking. Hey, I'm I'm the underdog. No, they should. Kids should be less online and more out fucking side. That's yeah. that's another part of the problem of these these fucking jerk offs in the in the streets and doing all this. They're all out there with their fucking phones. I gotta get a oh let me I gotta film this. I gotta film this. Everybody's looking for a viral video. When right? I was a kid, everybody just, just put you your could, phone down and experience. You could barely life. get on a baseball field or a basketball court. Not anymore. You always see an open baseball empty now. Fields. Empty. Baseball so, fields were packed in my hometown. I got to take a quick vote among all of you. Uh, our boy ZC only transform X just commented here because it's podcast number 66. He says, call J cream on the phone. Even if it's just for 20 seconds, there's only one podcast 66. Let's do it. Call Jason. up. Okie doke. Have you met Jason yet since you've been down here? Have I met Jason yet? Oh, yeah. You that with it? How to, oh, I'll tell me later. I want to hear how that works. You have some we'll talk about we'll talk you about have some footage for the prince, right? Yes, I exclusive. Uh, I could tell he extorted right. your ass. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Don't tell by your face. You gonna tell Jason you're on a podcast or not? Keep it secret. Yeah, I'll tell him. Hey, girl. What's up, Jason? Hey. Call to check up on me? Yeah, well, I'm actually calling you because we're currently doing podcast number 66. And we thought it would only be fitting, well, ZC only did, and we agree with him, that we speak to you just for two minutes to see how you're doing, since this is number 66. So if you want to speak to the maniacs and the piss troopers, let them know what's going on with you and how you're doing. I'm doing everything's doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm getting in there. How's your break from social media going? Good. No withdrawal symptoms or anything? Everything's fine, man. Everything's fine. Okay, that's good. Anything else you want to say? No, that's it. We have, we have Jason here from Louisiana. Right. He's about to tell us how much money you extorted from him the other day. <laughs> I got to get off the phone. I can't uh, take the money. Oh, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> Bye. Uh. Toodaloo. <laughs> so how much money has he extorted <laughs> since it was brought up? Spill I it. Fucking knew it. I he he gets everybody that comes here. He fucking. <laughs> uh, here's the one thing that I God can say that damn it, he man. didn't fucking warn. Glad you to. brought that up, Brad. Anything that I did for him was between me and him, and I, and it wasn't like Jason didn't come to me. I I reached out to him, so um, everybody knows how he is. Yeah. So so you knew going in, right? I knew going into it. Uh, you okay. know, and I know he's been having a little bit of trouble. So I had no problem. So I, I'm Crea- not going to disclose. Created, created by, created by himself. That's another thing in these fucking. Yes. Guess what? You fucking assholes dox the wrong fucking person. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. And if guess, anybody's thinking you know, anything different, look, Jason. That guy, I, I don't blame him for being as pissed as he was because, you know. What the fuck did he ever do to any, you know, you you start posting all this shit online and trolling him. Some people don't react good to that, man. Right. And you know what? Hey, Jason got away with Order 66 and a lot of motherfuckers over the years. He's lucky that shit. I've said it before. He's lucky that shit that didn't happen a while ago. Right. And all these assholes that say, oh, fuck him. He needs to get off. You got your wish. Now he's now his YouTube is fucking deleted. Mission accomplished. To you asshole trolls that have to go and do go cross the line with your fucking doxing bullshit. I don't fucking endorse any of that shit. Right. You don't fucking dox people. That's no, you're right. That, that's a coward fucking bullshit. You know? When they hide behind fake profiles and think they're fucking tough and can say all kinds of shit. Put your family out there. Put your business out there. Even though most of your... You can find out anything. Once they... Saw you, they fit, found out your fucking name. Your, they posted yeah, all, everything. Your, you know, they posted, they made a new Instagram, a fake Instagram of you, p- putting your old pictures on there. I saw them, like, hey, is that really him? But then I right. read the <laughs> caption and yeah. you know it's a fucking troll. <laughs> you know, but that, hey, listen. Hey, that flatters me, to be honest. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't, I don't blame his uncle for getting pissed. I really don't. And I don't blame Jason for wanting to take a break either. Yeah, he needed to. He needed to get yeah. off for a little while. He, his shit was getting very 
fucking repetitive, stale, boring, just <laughs> ignoramus shit. He like talked stupid. to me. He said he'd, he'd like to his break. He'd like to get it through to, at least to like the first. Um, he doesn't ever want to take a fucking break. First of what? What month? January. January first. He'll mm-hmm. never hold out that long. No fucking. That's what chance. he's. That's what he's trying to look at. And he then didn't start a, I thought that, he started another channel though. He does. He says he has his Instagram, but he's not. No, but I thought the, he started another YouTube channel. Not that I know he, of. He, he has his Instagram, Lord Vader page. Sure, I know, yes. but I don't think yeah. he. He has another YouTube he, channel. Uh, oh, because he wasn't. Because he said he was starting to film with Jonas again, which is. And another, I saw that that, that last. Which is thing, another one. Whenever something, whenever something happens with Jason, he he reaches out to Jonas, gets back in the picture, and then Jason will fuck him over again. He he fucks Jonas over every time they they end up doing shit. When he said he wants to take some time yeah, off, we're gonna do this and that, and then Jason will fuck Jonas over, and then <laughs> he wants to take some time off, come back after the first, and and he wants to compete again. Oh, good See how that goes. God, he wants to compete again because he knows. Bus, go yeah. round and round. He knows that's the only way he'll get views is if he's competing. Thanks, Andrew. You're giving who, me a turkey wrap, contributing the, to my growing. Yes, who the fuck Thank wants to watch much. that fat slob eat? Water and turkey wrap. They love <laughs> the pure components of muscle. I've been try, trying to contribute to my own growing, but it's not working. He wants to compete again Give just because. If Lenny's, if Lenny's still doing it, if you're going to do he knows that's what gets him the most views. Even though he doesn't realize people are laughing at him, not with him, he, go, he will continue to get on a bodybuilding stage and be a complete fucking embarrassment, and he doesn't care because it gets fucking views. Right. And people like the train wreck. They I told him if he away. could come in shape... Look, seven percent body. If he could just Dude, one time bite the fucking bullet. breath. Oh, I know. Everybody's if, told if, him if, that. If, Everybody's if, that's the key word. If he has no self control, he's got. I mean, when it comes to food, he's got no self control. If he takes this time off, let's say, let's say he does stay away for six months, do you, and actually comes back and he says, "I'm going to freaking compete this year." Would you believe it more in a comeback after taking the six months off and and kind of reflecting and looking back at himself, or you think he's just too far gone? He's 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 way far gone. He's past the point yeah. of no return, right. in my opinion. And he's not. He, he does not have the mental capacity to be using fucking drugs. But he, yeah, does, he, does, he, he doesn't. But he doesn't. He should that. not be. But, he should not be what? administering the shit by himself. He would shoot it in his shoulders, and his whole fucking arm would swell up because he doesn't shoot shit properly. He'll use the same fucking dirty for, needle for three local fucking shows. Times. And what he's doing, you don't he need does, it. He's not supposed to. He is that when he lied and said it was a spider bite. Yeah, well, he told yeah, his mom it was I a spider remember bite. that. <laughs> she took him to get antibiotics. I remember that. I'm like Jason, what the fuck? One fan came and visited from like Spain or something. Went to Jason's house and filmed Jason yeah, shooting in his that. arm. And he sent me the video. I'm like, Dude, what the fuck? I said to Jason, why are you letting random people film you do that shit? First of all, it's fucking illegal, but you could say it's just oil. You, I mean, there's always an out with that shit. Right. And, you know, he's an imbecile. He's a fucking, he, he has no business doing any of that shit. When you're, when you're only carrying that much muscle, like, you have no idea it, where it's just strictly diet. Like, he literally just no, he doesn't. Up but diet. he does not. No, he does no, not. He's li- got to have the whole. He doesn't food. lift properly, dude. No, I, that's he one thing not, I've seen. I've never seen him. Have you actually ever seen train him com- through a whole workout except for the PJ work? Anytime somebody was training him for that day or something, you, you'd have to live with him twenty four seven. Supervise him in the gym. Supervise his diet. Supervise everything, just the way Adam Harper tried to do, but he didn't live with him, so he couldn't do it to that extent. But to holding him accountable, looking through his wallet for receipts, training him. But that will make got him in pretty that, good shape. So anybody that does that will become fucking crazy. Yeah, you right. will lose your mind if you spend that much time with that man. It's just like Jay. I can't wait for that fuck to get back <laughs> on the road. He's been, he's been here for a fucking month. I, I had enough of him after a fucking week. You're like and everybody's like so. You know they say you're so fucking mean. You know, to you're Jay. like you're like Doctor Leo Marvin. And what about Bob? Uh, yeah. And he's Bill Murray, just yeah. showing up at your house every night. Yeah. Brad, the, you know, last Brad. Week, I told you guys the last week when we filmed, and oh, why is Brad so angry at Jay? Well, they don't see what happens off camera, and no, when this don't. fat cocksucker comes over to my house, <laughs> me, you, and Valerie are standing in the kitchen waiting for everybody to get there. All of a sudden, he shows up at the back door and starts yanking on the fucking door. It's locked. 
He's yanking on it a couple of times. I'm like, Jay, it's fucking locked. Why would you yank on it more than once? Or why wouldn't you turn the knob first? <laughs> oh, I'm like, you're going to break my fucking door. This isn't your house. He was pissed. I'm like, you go to the front door and you knock or ring the fucking doorbell. You don't live here, asshole. I'm like, you're going to pay for those fucking doors if you break them. And then he's got a smart ass remark. Well, I wouldn't. If this was my house, I wouldn't use the front door. I'm like, well, it's not your fucking house, asshole. He always tries to ju- justify what he does. Yeah. Oh, and every, you know, he's Mr. Fucking Know-It-All. He's got everything you do. He just doesn't shut the fuck up. I swear to God, you would think he's on Adderall constantly, but he's not. The other day, I wish I was with you guys at the fucking gym. Oh, my God. Him sitting on that fucking preacher curl machine doing nothing. What the fuck is the matter with you? It spoke for itself. I didn't need to say anything. No, I know, but if I get the fuck up, there's people there. (laughs) Why are you taking up a machine like an old asshole? What did he do? Just fucking follow you around the gym? That's it. But he's sitting like 10 feet. He's not even involved in the conversation. He's just sitting like 10 feet away looking from afar. Mm. This is probably why he didn't want this is probably why he didn't want to show up tonight either. Oh, Keith. Yeah. Don't expect to see Keith again. That was just a random encounter. That's what's great we, about going to a public yeah, gym. Yeah, I know. Now. We haven't been to the gym he at that time. more like Dr. McCoy, come to think of it. Like, than Spock. A little bit like, you remember Dr. McCoy? They called him Bones. On Star Trek? Kirk, yeah. I'll have to look him up. He looked just like Leonard Louis Moore to me. A small version. Actually, there. I think some people in the comments were saying, looks like my brother. Like my older, yeah. like, yeah they, yeah. they sure did. Like I sneaked my older brother in the gym. Hey, let's get him on camera, but pretend I don't know him. Yeah, that's that's slick. I like when you said, <laughs> wow, you look like somebody from Star Trek. <laughs> I did. First thing I thought of. But that's good. He was, mm-hmm. you know, he's okay with the ball breaking. That's another thing that this, you know, world needs is to be able to take a fucking joke. You hear that, Shannon? Get your balls broken a little. Who Shannon cares? Sharp. They think you know, they. These, these, I don't know. It's not just young people. It's it's everybody in general. They get they're just looking for something. To Everyone's so on edge now. Yeah. Highly emotional state. Yeah, it's terrible. We just everyone in this country just ne- needs to let the emotions calm down and let's just use logic to figure all this shit historically, out. Historically, life is so easy now that people. Need some type of controversy and challenge in their life that they're not getting. You're kind. Of, I, I I agree with that. I mean, two hundred years ago, living it just especially in Florida, no AC, no nine one one, no electricity, nothing. I mean, you better have two hundred years ago. It was a lot, guns lot in your house. A lot less than that. Try a hundred years ago. Yeah, and there's no. It's a survival of the fittest. You could starve to death. Spoiled brats, you man. Could de- no water. You could die so easily back then. This is the no ambulance. ambulance. It's just unreal with things. This were is back then. this is the everyone gets a trophy generation growing up, and when they take over this country, boy, hmm. we'll see. Well, they got a little. Taste Hopefully though. not. Hopefully I'll be dead. The way the oh. Orientals defend their businesses, like I said, when they surrender to China, which may happen twenty years down the road or sooner, they're going to get that type of discipline. We'll see. Not getting any discipline now. He's just fucking letting the cops are letting him run right over top of him, and it's a fucking shame. Yeah, I just don't get that. I don't understand. At, at what point does it stop? You know, it, what we, happened we, to fire hoses? To, Why don't they use fucking fire hoses? Ah, that's so. I love that too. Just hose them the fuck down. Yeah, get the fuck. Yeah, out. you need Go to cool up. Oh, bring out the German. <laughs> Come over here. <laughs> but I mean, what, at what point? Like y'all, y'all said before. What are the demands? Yeah, let's what, negotiate. What are you asking for? Right. Let's start working towards that, and so we can get from you know why why are y'all all still in Minneapolis? Okay, and what if the, and what if part of what if part of their negotiation negotiations are the most ridiculous demands there are? Like, didn't those people from Chop submit a list of demands? Yeah. Then we shut it down. Then if if there's if they, ne- if they know, then we shut it down. Then look. Well, there's o- there's at some always point, at some point the the. Somebody's gonna win. It's called bargaining. It's just like when right. you you always ask for the most and you settle kind of you kind of meet each other in the middle. So what the you fuck work on everything do you on? people want right now? What does everybody want? What will make you happy? Free TVs, free sneakers. Free TVs, I don't know. Well, they, already got 
They already got all that I shit. Think, they stole everything. Same things they were stealing the Watts riot in L.A. in 65. TVs, you know, goods like that. Same damn thing they're stealing. What is it, 55 years later? You know what sucks? This is, this is what people aren't even really getting. All of the small businesses that just came back. That's what I was saying on the last podcast. Now, All of them that way just to kick, came way to back kick them just while got down, robbed. The fucking yeah. assholes. You, you exactly hit the nail on the head. Like, like what in the... Who... I don't give a crap what color you are. Who gives you the right to come take away from something that's not yours, period. Yeah, the communists believe that. That's their whole philosophy. Spread the wealth. You claim that somebody took your freedom when it was, you know, when it was yours, then you're, you're going to come back and do the same shit and and want different results. Come on now. Somebody's rich. They think somebody got there unjustly, and they deserve part of it. Yeah, like they didn't, like they didn't work hard to get what they got. The more rich people in a country, the better. Did a poor person ever hire anybody? No. It's the uber rich they call it. The one percent. Jeff Bezos, <laughs> yeah. the Elon Musks, the who are, who are the top? Bezos is the one who founded Amazon, right? Did I ever tell you the story about that? Yeah. That in New York, he went to the same dentist that I went to, and I think it was 1996 or 1997. I went for just a general, you know, routine checkup and cleaning, and as my dentist was looking at my teeth, he goes, "Man, he goes." The guy I saw before you, he's out there, man. He's a little kooky. I'm like, why? What's up? He said, he's moving out to California. He's giving everything up. He's moving out to California to start his own business, something called Amazon.com. <laughs> Good luck to him. Like, he just totally <laughs> poo-pooed it. Well, look at him now. Yeah. <laughs> he was just so dismissive of it. And, oops. Andrew only has fat-free milk in his fridge. Known, homose- <laughs> known homosexual. Who would drink fat-free milk? <laughs> Does he really? Yes. Uh, and how much do you weigh, Andrew? Probably 190 right now. And you don't have any breathing. You don't have any breathing problems. No. Hypertension. None. Oh, hush it. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't turn purple when you no, lift. No. I'm talking about. Wow, I wish the <laughs> bullshitter was here so I could fuck with him. God I'm talking to Meow Man, <laughs> who hasn't taken a Go shot figure. in over a year, takes nothing, is maintaining anywhere from 205 to 215. When he gets a pump, still has great physique. Lean, muscular, strong. He feels great. Trains all the time. He's running sprints, mowing the lawns up there. He needs to do more training videos. The last one he did was good. Yeah, yeah I saw he did a couple Q&A videos. Yeah. I like those, too. Yeah, he knows his stuff, He's and he's... He's well spoken to. YouTube, so, uh, Stray Strength 650. Yeah. Go subscribe. I always he, like he, when Kalora posts shit. He's done it all at very high levels and never really reached his potential, which is amazing. Well, he had that blood pressure, right? What did he have? He had a type After of... After hernia. Yeah, he had that, but... He had an appendectomy, but he had a buildup of calcium in his No, arteries. but that's what happened after the hernia, he was saying. That's when he found out about it. Yeah. Just but I think he's doing fine now. Yeah. So I know he had to take well, the blood. Was it blood pressure medication? Yes. Yeah, I think he still takes it. Yeah. He's my age. He, you know. Yeah. Tom Brady age. Those early days of taking all that juice. It worked. <laughs> it worked, but now you know. He's got muscle for life. He's kept most of it. He's got muscle memory. Yeah. You want to get that size when you're young. That's why I tell you, maniacs. Anybody could be another Andrew Kalor. He just did the right things at the right time. And as a teenager, he started off with an anabolic, like an equipoise. Or like Anavar would be good. That's what I would recommend any father give their high school athlete, Anavar. I'm not giving my son Anavar. Who said your son? You have always say that to me. Well, you should have listened. Jason, you have teenage kids, right? Little Anavar? I, I, can't, think my, of it. I can't think of anything to draw My back. kid touched... Uh, I, I, um... I don't, I don't, I honestly believe, I didn't touch anything until, and actually it was legal when I grabbed it because I was in Mexico and it was before 91. So I grabbed my first little, you know, I think, I, I didn't, I didn't, know, I knew nothing about it, but I grew up around it because like I said, my dad. So where'd your dad he have was his doing stuff? It. 
Where do you have it? Yeah, in the house. Right, the, in, the, in the cabinet bin. Your it's, father it, was it a bodybuilder. It wasn't illegal. Wow. He was a bodybuilder? Uh-huh. Like in the vitamin in the kitchen, the vitamin. Yeah, you want the vitamin kitchen? It was all, all sitting right there. You know, wow. back before before they made a schedule three. I mean, you can, why buy the vitamin C? That's you can great. get it. You can get it. You can get it right at any local gym. And nobody was dying back then. Nobody was dying. Back I remember then. when I first moved down here in 1998. You can buy Androstein Dione in Walmart. Yeah. yeah. And it was very popular then because Mark well, McGuire claimed he was using but it. But well, that, you know, that's and it was that was that stuff really worked. I, I did a Nortestin and a testin, uh, cycle with um from Muscle Tech, mm-hmm. I, and let me tell you something, that stuff worked. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow. Just a steroid that wasn't on the ban list. They could tweak the molecule many different ways. I just think I just, I think it just it hyped up your natural levels, to where, you know that's and that's it's what see- synthetic. Testosterone does it pushes your levels up, and if a regular pill can do it, doesn't matter whether you shoot it or not. It's still, it's still gonna get the same effect. It won't be as, as last as long. Won't be as potent. But, but then when you start to get your anadrols and your dinaballs and stuff like that, that just makes you a monster. I don't care how strong you think you are. Take anadrol, and it'll put you at the spot. That you wanted to be, and then some. And it's better the more strong you are naturally. Hell, keep going. Yeah, I, just, do, I, I don't agree with um with I, look if train for many years first. If if this if you, if you decide you want to do some cycles, train first. At you least at least nine under. months. What do you think a, a good minimum? What do you think a good age to start with is training? But training? Yeah. I, at least I think twelve years old. Yeah. Twelve because it's a little bit more body development. Don't train super hard at that. And then once you get your 60, if they say your plate, that a, a male's platelets stop at like 60. Yeah, that's what my father 18. didn't want me to do until I was 14. And um, once that happens, you know, then you can start hammering on it. I um, That's when I started really lifting heavy, when I was 16. Well, when I was 12, I wanted to lift so bad, do push-ups and stuff. My father used to take a chain and a padlock and lock his weights up because I was messing around with him. So I couldn't get in there anyway. He says, hey, you're not going to stunt your growth just for speeds, muscle, pounds of muscle now. But he let you do push-ups? Yeah, well, I did this on my own. Sit-ups, he did fine with that. A lot of sit-ups. Yeah, like these like, assholes over the quarantine acting like they're fucking making some kind of breakthrough with their home workouts and using all these weird <laughs> shit. Push-up, sit-up, chin-up, <laughs> body, yeah. body squats. You can do single, single calf raises. It's so fucking simple. They act like they're reinventing the wheel. All these, all these douchey fitness fucks on YouTube and Instagram got a show. Oh, try this. Yeah. Subscribe to me and pay this for my home workouts. Larry Wheels lifting his couch. Is that what they were saying? Oh, dude, everything's for fucking free online. You can, you can pretty much. It's so you learn that shit in kindergarten. I get the fuck. But out anybody, of you want to raise your own hormone levels? Testosterone has been proven scientific fact. Get out there and run wind sprints. We used to run 100 with a parachute, walk it back, sprint 100, walk it back, sprint 100. Five of those out in this Florida heat when I was four, almost 400 pounds. You can get a parachute at the sporting goods store? Yeah. Now you can. We got it with the mail. I, saw, I think I threw mine. I still mine. Andrew still I'd love to one. see He's you running, running down the street with a parachute on your back. I want to feel it. I'd love to see you running down yeah. the street. Yeah. I yeah, want to see When's the one. last time you actually ran? Not since I was real heavy. Of course, I've had... Busted my arch. When that tr- tranny was chasing him down the street <laughs> with a knife. <laughs> we broke the arch on my foot. What was that? What's that called when you get that? Plantar fasciitis? It's oh, horrible because I was 400 pounds running it, but I was pretty good for 400 and we run. Broke the arch on yes. my foot. Okay, oh, that's a new one. That's like walking on pebbles and rocks oh, was, when you have that. That is awful. It was torture for a good six months, but that was that's what happens when you sprint with that weight. But I wasn't bad. We were on the parachute. I mean, I did it. I didn't quit. It was horrible. You think you could do it now? If I'm silly ease into it, I have to find a good field and good shoes, but I think so. Just Didn't you used to do it at, it. at uh, Patch Reef Park? Patch Reef, we yep. did it over on Lake Ida Road. We did it. Fantastic yeah. hamstring exercise. That, that's I mean, a nice my part, Patch Reef. grew from that more than any kind of lifting. They would get so thick from those sprints. Of course, it wasn't look like you're sprinting, but we were going 100%. Look, look at sprinters. Look at sprinters' legs. Yeah. Have you ever seen a, a, a skinny leg sprinter? No. No. Their their legs are massive because of that short 
quick muzzle and, fire. And I've heard this, six that stories. Explosiveness. And they run, they, a, they run every day, right? Supposedly one sprinter. They don't back. have to run. They, they don't run every day, but they pretty close. I mean, to, to get that type of speed, Jay would they say have that. to run Jay would day. say that's gay. Too much. All you need to do is run once a week. Yeah, okay. That's, a week. that's why you, you split your quads from your tendons. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's in the comments section saying, I'm at home eating, sleeping, and growing. He's got to quote you. That's that's you know that's what he always says. Well, actually, that's a great thing to say. I mean, it's, that's that's a key yeah, to body right to go, there. He's, he's about to go take well. a bath in mommy's pool and do another <laughs> drunk live. Put his foot in his mouth again, <laughs> and maybe this time he'll get his YouTube fucking deleted. Tell him drunk pool lives matter. <laughs> what a dope. What a say. I'm sabotage. amazed he still has his Instagram after right, that. He wants to just sabotage himself. If you're starting a YouTube channel, why the fuck would you go and do that shit, man? Especially now with what's going on. Use your fuck There's people brain. out there looking, finding it. Yeah, Mostly man. Try, you see that woman that oh, said yeah. something about... Well, she said nothing wrong is you shouldn't be burning an American flag. I, I sent the link. Well, if you look at the subreddit group that that was posted to, it's all people being filmed saying... Racist shit, horrible shit. Yeah, take a look at that whole subreddit. What the, what is that one called? Public. Oh shit. Levy, have you ever look. been to any other body big bodybuilding shows besides the Olympia? Well, I competed in the Southern states, but but no. I'm talking about pro shows. No. Any, any big events or anything like that back in the '90s and stuff. When the '80s, I went to the Pennsylvania Bodybuilding Championship in downtown Pittsburgh at the Soldiers and Sailors you, Hall. You've never been to a national, so USA. No, we were going, but no, I never did. I never been to the Olympia actual event. We were at the Las Vegas Lounge that night. We got to get. <laughs> look, let me tell you something. You know, for the true bodybuilders, like that's the ultimate. That's the ultimate trip. Is to. I've been to probably about seven nationals, about six USA's, huh. ten Olympias, and the experience wow. outside going through these expos and meeting all these guys, it's so so incredible. Yeah, we went to I, the Olympia Expo. The nineties. You talking about look? We had a, we had a good time at the Olympia Expo, except for Jay's fucking crying the whole Nasser time. Nasser was probably <laughs> yeah. one of the nicest guys. <laughs> he there. drove me fucking crazy there too. Yeah. I heard he would give people advice. He was about he things. was very heavy in Vegas. He had a hard oh, time. With Jay? Yeah, he, oh, was, he, he was, was really walk, heavy. He was yeah. he, he, he was not like, good he, he shape. He looks like how I feel right now. Well, me yeah. and him tried to bulk up as big as we could, and I wasn't doing. You too were good miserable either. too, but you weren't complaining like he was. That's because he was sleeping in the room. No, he can't. When we went to the Olympia, <laughs> the car ride over there, he was just like he wouldn't shut the fuck up. He was just crying. I snapped on him. But he, he's, I think he may have been a little nervous. He was at a, he was at a be face to face with some of the people he talked shit about. Uh-huh. He, it was funny when he, PJ was there. He was actually Lenny, hiding. Look, look, there's Voodoo. Oh, you missed Voodoo. Voodoo. Voodoo's I'm the black here. one. Yeah, I got. I can say hi. I got two new cats back in November. What's the What's the other one's name? Bolo, named after Bolo Young. Yeah. What? Yeah. Like your little. That's the black one. Voodoo, Bolo. right there. See, Lenny, turn around. You got, him? you got an all orange one too. Yeah, he's, Come on. he's actually getting brave. This one. Come on. Come here. Where's Bolo? He's in my room. I love seeing Bolo dominate the Range of the Dragon, the other one with Van Damme, Bloodsport. Yeah. Which movie? Both of them. Bloodsport. Dragon and Bloodsport. Enter Bloodsport. the Dragon Enter and Bloodsport. Yep. Dominated yeah. people. And that was the oh, guy. Yeah. Chong Lee. Look at him. That's a Diana Chun ball. Look. You Pringles. are oh, next. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. make chicken bread. Two a tea, yep. watery. Brit- big, no, yeah. Strong, <laughs> feeling good, athletic. Old <laughs> wrestlers, yeah. Just toying with people. Pure Diana ball. All right, I'm going through the comments. His son's a monster, too. You can look him up on YouTube. He does pull-ups with one finger. Hmm. Bolo, Bolo was a Bolo big, young son. A, a Chinese bodybuilder. I, yep. I didn't know him until watching my dad. and He used to come up in all the bodybuilding uh Magazines, and then I saw him on the Edge of the Dragon. Yeah, I like when he fucked up that slob from Revenge of the Nerds in Bloodsport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ogre. Oh yeah, ogre. yeah, yeah. Ogre yeah. in the head. Oh, yeah. oh, what was his? I'm trying to remember his name in Bloodsport. Oh. Shit. Um, those movies were funny. Ray those Jackson. Ray Jackson. That's right. Ray Jackson. Remember that se- the Revenge of the Nerds, the second one they did in Fort Lauderdale. When, yeah. when Fort Lauderdale yep. was a big spring break. And so. ogre became a nerd. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if they can get away with making a movie like that now. They're calling somebody nerds. 
You're yeah, bullying that's true. them. Could you imagine if they made like another walking, uh, walking tall from back in the chair pusser days and that? With the one with the rock? Not the one with the rock. That was PC. The original. Before that, the original. Oh, I never even saw that. <laughs> Any good questions, Bard, to read? Uh, there's a few Comments? asking about. Big Rob, which I don't even know why Big Rob Fitness. I have a feeling we're going to address that Saturday at the New Universal Order podcast. Yeah, that's Adam's axe to grind. Yeah. I don't know why he keeps fucking giving giving that guy any and attention. Again, who am I? I'm mad about the administrator, the bitch, the anonymous bitch that wants to fire me over something that I didn't do at work, wasn't illegal, didn't want to speak to me after yeah, 28 okay, years I, I just, of service, sweating, something heavy, let's call it plenty, whatever, you know. It's bullshit that somebody would call... Who knows if it was him yeah, or that's not? That's expected, Whatever. but, for, so but that, that's who my thing exactly. is. It's the fucking management that there. They're assholes. Woman. And I hate how they say that woman's a tough cookie because she runs her mouth. Yeah, she's a great leader. Yeah, right. Name one. Lori Lightfoot. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> Have Big Swole give a quick bio? He already did. Mm. Have Lenny tell us what he went through from the move up until now. That's from Paul Brawl. Which move? Well, it was just a last minute thing because our plans fell through. It, luckily, Aladdin put me up, found me a place in Boca, which is a great location. Uh, Getting get some good sleep and some training and be able to film a lot of videos. I'll be gone next Friday, but... Is there any other chicks at that pool in fucking geriatrics or what? Couple. There's some... Yeah, we saw a few nice girls. Yeah. The second time I went with, with Jay, yeah. it was younger. Actually, it was a nice black girl. I opened the door to throw some garbage out late last night, and she stopped her car, and she says, I'm looking for room 215, especially by the fitness center. And I'm thinking, maybe she's coming to see Jay Swole. I didn't want to say... And I said, it's got to be on the same level because you're the, f it's, it might be the left to you or it might be because I think you're the one on the end. But she got out of her car and she came back, she said she couldn't find it. And I was going to say, well, you want to come in my room? But you know, it's kind of small, but. Well, you got scared? You got no, too I just, you know, got to eat, sleep, and grow like Jay. You got to be a freak. I want to hear a good intro and outro. Is he up on there? Us. Did he yeah. comment? What did he say? Song. He's making an intro for us for the YouTube oh. instead for the of podcast. us playing yeah. copyrighted shit. I said that at the beginning, didn't I? Yep. All right, don't forget. Taco Queen is at home doing laundry and cleaning like she should be. Good girl. Hey, hey no. Check out the Leo and Longevity podcast. He's going to be interviewing me on Monday. He reached out to me. Great. He yeah. wants to have me on. Nice. Monday or Tuesday, great, we're going to do great. it. He's got a good spectrum of people. Yeah. Best kept yeah, secret on like YouTube, a, maniacs. We got to get him some more su subscribers. I don't even think he has two thousand. No shit. Yeah, hey, they're, they're gonna come. They're gonna come. He Le interviews a lot of people, doesn't he? Oh yeah, Boston Lloyd. Good. Leo and Longevity. Go check him out. T Tony Huge, myself, Meow Man, Andrew Calora, former ex mobster. You watched all. Lenny, look, see him. That's Bolo. No, that's that's Food Voodoo. Or? Voodoo. Hopefully. Come on. Andrew's going to have both these cats as fat as Kimbo soon. Watch. This one's getting there. The other one's skinny. The other one's still very young. So. Why didn't Lenny apply for PUA? He would qualify and get at least 800. Yeah, Jay Swole says he's going to help me out with that once he gets back. So. They, I think they go back too from when you yeah, yes they do I'm a mess but from, the, from, the, from, from the jump from he has no he has no sense of urgency when it comes to doing anything on a computer <laughs> well it's mostly most amount of ignorance but again I want to take this opportunity to thank all because you guys because when he gets helped. on a computer he's just drawn to the tranny Prince point Andrew, right. Brad, it just takes Jay over. Swole Aladdin Lou Meow Man and all you maniacs I interact with on the cameos and the lives fantastic I love it I learned a lot from you, inspired a lot by you. So I hope we can keep that going for all our benefits. So is Aladdin coming back down? Yeah. Okay. Hope he gained another 20 pounds of muscle. If not, he can have some of mine. 
<laughs> That's awfully generous of you. I'll take some of yours. Ask Lenny. My, my fat. Take some of my fat. <laughs> I don't know. You're Take sn- anything you're sn- at this point. You're snoring while awake is got to drive you fucking nuts. When you're sleeping, it, it probably it, sounds like a train it, going through that it, fucking room. It sucks. I can't. I can't sleep. I don't sleep at all. I get baby. Why don't you take a fucking? Uh, I need. A, I need an allergy pill. I, 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 you realize how much more muscular he'd be. I just. I just grab some. But I literally need to. Um, I've got to get a CPAP. So if it's the only you way I'm going to be able to. Ever had one? Takes a few weeks to get used to, but you'll love it once you get into There's it. There's no, I you'll, would eat, I would get used to it the minute I stuck it. Yeah, you'll lay on your back. I'll, I'll it'll be like, so horrible. Should you give him some G? Help him sleep a little bit. Ask Lenny what his 2014 self would say if he could see himself now. I would just be shocked. That was a Diana could do 2014. Yeah. Shocked at losing my hospital job for that kind of stuff, and shocked at how small I am when I should have gotten bigger, but. That's from steering away from the bases. That's my time at Planet Fitness, and I need some a little bit stability now. You know, moving here, moving there, moving here. It's no excuse, but again, there's improvements I need to make on my protocol. It's an excuse. I mean, you want to <laughs> more frequent eating. It's hard to get into a set routine when you're moving around and yeah, not knowing no, where you're no going ex- next. No I, I know what you're saying. No excuse for anything. You make time, not excuses, right? Yes, yeah, so you don't no. whine and complain about a system. You're here for a short time. I don't know what these people want. It just, it's just a nonstop demands. And whoever gives in to them, that's at your peril. But maniacs, stay away from all that nonsense. There's nothing going to do for you. going to bring you down in every way. Ignore it. But p- p- keep yourself vigilant. Protect yourself. <laughs> Got to be aware. Have your certain surroundings and don't go anywhere. You're going to run into a problem. And use protocol with the law enforcement. I know some of them can be smart asses and stuff, but don't stoop to that level. Just be very calm. And legally, you can say, I don't want to answer any questions. You can't say that in certain instances. Hey, the counter argument to that is George Floyd was calm. He was in handcuffs and he was killed. True. That guy had, but they, it came out later. Yeah, but who guy, cares? That, that Doesn't guy, matter. That, that guy knew him. Oh. They worked together. So he might have had. There, but you, there's you did, more you did to see that the tape struggle story. before that, right? But you know what? Nobody's mm-hmm. perfect. You well, did see how they struggled before that. They actually yes. had him in the court. Well, and uh, let me ask you this: as a former police officer, isn't it true that once you're in handcuffs, laying on your stomach, the fight is over? That's it. The fight is over. There's there's no reason that dude's ne- knee should have been in that dude's neck back. Looking anywhere. right into a camera, filming him do it. If the Looking guy right got, into if the, the guy got up and took off running, where's he gonna go? But this is the one argument that we haven't had yet. I also want to hold the people accountable. That was st- you're going to tell me with everybody. Or the three other me. cops? Not just the cops, the citizens. What yes. are they supposed to do? What are they supposed to do? Look at what they're doing now. Look they can, what they're doing they can, now. They can flip over police cars and shit. And but light you them couldn't help. You couldn't help a, 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 a body lifeless guy sitting on the ground. That would have mm-hmm. never happened had I been there. Period. Hands down. I don't give a shit. Well, how many people were there? Bunches, over ten people. You could hear them. Like let the dude walk over there. Hold on. Can I I ask you a question? Let's say okay. Liability for all. You have the cop. Hold on. You have the cop with his knee on the on the guy's neck. He's in handcuffs. Yes. And then you had the Asian cop standing there, kind of guarding the situation. Yes. Let's say four civilians bum rushed the cop. Whose knee was on George Floyd's neck? And got him off of him. They, they and would, got they him would, off of him. What do you think the other? Th- what do you think the other three cops would have done? Would, they probably would have arrested those people, but they would have later got released, mm-hmm. and the, the guy would be alive. They probably would have been deemed heroes. One hundred percent, the guy would be alive. I agree. Hands down. I agree. I don't understand why people think everybody. You think those other cops? Everybody wants to run their mouth and they want to say shit, but when it's, it's an when isolated it's, when it's time incident, get in the battle. They don't want to have shit the to guy do with was, it did until a, something goes wrong. Did a criminal act. And it's that simple. It's an isolated incident. What's that have to do with mass riots and protests? And most of those other it's cases, powder, Michael okay, Brown's included, who they have a statue of. And getting to where the in the statue situation, we've seen statues in the United Kingdom of Churchill thrown down. Other people in England that built the economy, that built cities, provided jobs. A lot of Southerners that provided jobs were generals, whatever, businessmen, and their statues are thrown down. And NASCAR caving in 
removing the stars and barges is a historical part of this country and yeah, not all of it was bad that's <laughs> that's a symbol of states rights i believe states have rights that the government federal government can't supersede we don't want the government control of every state otherwise you eliminate the states some states have taxes some don't they have different rules that's the symbol of states rights that they're trying to get rid of and that's a bad thing back to the point that i was making and that's and just so I can tell, because I want, I want to finish it because I don't want anybody to take this in the wrong context. We have the police officers and we have the civilians. They want to, it, hands down, the one cop was headed to knee in the back, correct? He's the one that did it, right? Mm -hmm. But they would have charged the other three with an accessory. How come the civilians don't get charged also? They would stand there. They watched it happen. All right? So if, I, if, if you have a group of friends and y'all go rob a bank, you're friends with the guys. You're there. You there, you watched it. They give you shit too, right? Well, the civilians that were standing there were scared, obviously, of the other But guy. they did and vocalize it. Hey, stop it. Some of them did say stop it, though, so I'll give them credit for that. They didn't do it. They didn't do anything. A lot. Really. Most people. They didn't do anything. Yeah, but most That's people. True, but they talk a lot. They talk a lot of nonsense, but they didn't do anything. The guy would be alive had they done something, period. Yeah. And if I, the cop wouldn't have been a dickhead who had no idea he should have never been wearing the badge remember on the last podcast we talked about how the cop and floyd may have had a history when they were former co-workers someone who worked with the two of them came forward and said they did have beef and, they went, Shut and then he recanted it i guess he thought better of going public with it oh well i didn't mean he what i said paid off or pressured off they shut it up correct that's going to remove the whole thing of nationwide police brutality with that isolated incident. apparently what the story That's this the guy truth. the story this guy told is that George Floyd gave the cop shit because he said that that cop was too rough with the patrons. Yeah, he was an asshole, like someone else, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I, I, I so, ended with this. I really hope that this movement gets what they're looking for. We know right now what they're doing isn't what needs to happen, but I hope there comes. I really, really hope that this gets to a solution where everybody can finally look at this whole thing into context and be like, damn, you know, this is what we've been needing all these years. Let's move forward. What sucks, though, is I just can't, I just can't see it. And I don't think we'll see it in our lifetime. And that's what's sad. It's going to get worse with the propaganda. Oh, you bet your I ass I have a feeling it's definitely going to get worse. Before, Fuck yes, this it election, is. And it's going to get worse before it gets better. I mean, you would think how much fucking worse can it get? First, we're in a two-month fucking lockdown, and then just wait, all of a sudden, we're in the fucking middle of cities wait, burning Wait down. till the election. No matter who loses, it's going to be riding. Uh, that's how I feel. Yeah. As long as they don't riot, Rick on Jim, we'll be okay, because that's where I'll be working out. <laughs> <laughs> Stay your ass away from my gym. If you could take a misfits trip abroad to any country, which would you choose? Where would you want to go with all of us, Lenny? I'd like to go to Italy, specifically Milan, so I could run into Christina. Mm -hmm. I'd, love to go to, I'd love to go to Italy, too. Milan. Milan. Did you ever go there, Andrew? Venice. How was it? Boring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much to do other than ride around in a gondola and sightsee. <laughs> I think I was there for three or four days. That was it. That was when I spent two months traveling around Europe by train. How were the hookers? I, I was 22. In Venice? <laughs> we only rode gondolas in Venice. <laughs> uh, uh, that was one of our more sanitized visits. That was strictly sightseeing. We went to uh, uh, Europe Went with, with the... Um, with Kings, Kensington Palace and all that, by the with the Queen and, in London. Yep. Yeah, I was. There. I love London. I, look, I would love to go I back hate, to London. I really didn't like the people. They're kind of snooty and stuck up. But as far as like, um, I did get to see it back then. I got to see Dorian Yates. Went to his gym. Um, met a couple of pros that were up and coming that were cool as shit. Um, but like their food sucked. They, they and they weren't really friendly. I usually don't like what you send me. They call him a god. Is that a kid? Yeah. They call him as god. 
They're calling you who God? Read the top captions. These devils put a bag over this young god's head. <laughs> Was he spitting? He That's god. usually why they do that. He said god. <laughs> He's a god. Is it taking four cops to control a 12 year old kid? That's what it looks what like. This referring to him as a god. <laughs> Man, I would. This, this is such a fucking. Uh, you, know, you, you don't want to be a cop. Yeah. That's fine. Let them, hey. Now they're calling a kid a god, a little criminal. Putting over this god. <laughs> That's what you have to call him now. Watch. Required. I, I would hate to be a. I mean, this is the worst time to be. Brad, a you're gonna hate cop. to be a postman because you're gonna have to kiss their feet after delivering their welfare checks, and you have to call the young kids a god. <laughs> the only feet I put in my mouth are Valerie's. Ooh. That's it. Are you guys excited to see Mack Truck kick the bedroom? Lenny, do you have a follow up to that or no? When he seems more slap box. Uh, I think Lenny's speechless. I'll take the fifth. What? <laughs> The young god. <laughs> the young god. Why are they calling this kid a god? <laughs> That's just the Mack truck thing with Jay is, is stupid. It's just You know what I'd like to see? What? That slap that slap. slap where they have the slap yeah, the slap. Oh, where they stand there and slap. Where they stand each there and slap each other. That would be fucking get Mack great. truck. Uh, Jay think, against Mack truck. Jay. I think Jay would actually stand there and, and do that and I, instead and of I, a regular I, street I, fight. He'd knock his head off. Jay a took a hard slap idea. from Lou. Remember that before he benched that, that would be bullshit that would be slap. freaking yeah. awesome. Lou, Lou half missed him. Now no. no. look at the fucking video again. Lou barely got him. That would be an him. awesome. Jay's untouchable. I call that one. Jay that's Masters actually, that's versus a, Mack Truck, a the, slap box. This, 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 this is a slap contest. Called, they, 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 stand, they have competitions they where they show. Yeah, I've oh, seen like, those. It's like an arm wrestling. Yeah, yeah. they hold, put hold on one thing, and they stand there, and they take trade, the, shots. They have, trade shots. And whoever whoever can't last. I bet Jay can take a damn good shot. Yeah, I think that with would With that be big great, head? That would be great. Removes any kind of liability on either Everything. of them. Everything. That's and it's, fucking awesome. It's what they're doing. We should set those up. Jay Masters now. Let's. He can go... Hell yeah! And didn't Mack Truck throw a punch at Rich Piano and didn't even world. phase him? I think he he partially missed him or something. Uh, I don't know. Who's that? When Mack Truck swung on Rich Piano. Oh that's yeah, what, that's he, what got that's he, what got him. Sucker punched him and that's what Rich got him popular. Went after Mack Truck took off running like a. Uh, J- Jay's pissed yeah, he at him. backtracked and hid behind that, his. That dude yeah. to, hid behind his cronies. That's Jay. Got on his shit because he said something in one of PJ's posts like I'll see you at the next expo kind of in a threatening way I guess. Which is completely stupid. Why would you incriminate yourself? If you want to, if you want to get at somebody, you don't fucking put this it all, online. This all started when Mac. Like what you always say, Joe real killers again. move in silence. Always. You, you, the more you talk, it, it's just. If Mac Truck said to PJ Braun, "I'll see you at the next expo," PJ should know he has absolutely nothing to worry about. Because if he was really going to do something, he wouldn't make a comment like that. He would just be quiet, yeah. bide his time, and wait for the right moment. Well, he's. What the fuck is? What is with that guy? Anyway, what's his Who? background, Leonard? Who? The Mack truck? truck? Nothing. No, I've never. He heard was. Of he was with okay. Rich Piano <laughs> with the five percent. He um. That's how he kind of got his start and his following. He went off on his own. Oh, you told um, me he was a stripper. Now he's a. He became a personal, just like personal training stuff. Wait, he was a what? He, um, stripper. He's became. He won the Masters, uh, Nationals this last year at um. I think at 225 as a heavyweight, and that's about it. I mean, that's really all there is to it. I mean, it's, the guy's really not. What's he do for just a living? Like, just sell his clothing the, and shit? Yeah, just personal training, coach. Oh, okay. Considered a coach, uh, personal training, uh, talks on podcasts with, with like um, – Mike Rashad guy, or just oh, a couple of them all talking. He also—that's another reason why Jay was pissed at him because uh, I guess it was a couple months ago he did an interview with that fat Italian kid Nick, Nick Tr- Trigilli and said and he that, talked shit about Joe, Joe saying Joe's a pedophile. He's like, a pedophile. That's how he lost his job and all that shit. You don't—you don't make an accusation like that no. unless you got some motherfucking proof. But Joe debunked all that shit in the video. That shit that, was so funny. The video, was, that that video that he did. Was awesome. yeah. that was so like Jay needs to. Stop trying to get involved with grown men's beef between each other, and let Joe handled himself perfectly with that. You know, he did, hundred percent. Why does Jay doesn't Jay doesn't need to fight people's battles? I don't know what what the fuck. He, 
<laughs> I don't know why he does that shit. The we, view whore. Like, PJ can take care of himself. Yeah. Joe Piatero can take care of himself. Yeah. Like, Jay, just, you know. Quit, <laughs> quit trying to fight fucking other people's battles, man. Stay the fuck out of it. Yeah, I think the the, <clears throat> the PJ Brown thing will just kind of simmer down and everything and go off to the side. PJ will find another another athlete and uh, th- things to go on. Hey, PJ, I'm available. I need a amateur. Uh. He doesn't want <laughs> nothing to do with our bullshit. He's he's got a he's got a company to run. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if he was That's sitting in his office and hey, some free. dude named Jason yeah. for, for with like, this fit sitting outside? J- like, J- oh no, <laughs> not again. <laughs> Jay shows his loyalty like he's a sponsored athlete. Please. Who gives a fuck? We're all free agents. That's what's great. We can say whatever we want about whoever we want. I get, I get Walmart you'll protein. Get a, you'll get you know, you want to know where I get my PEDs from? Walgreens. <laughs> we'll give our real opinions. That's the beauty of it. Because then once you become sponsored, then you, oh, well, don't say this about that person. You you know. Walgreens is my source. Is my source. <laughs> Transform X had you holding the cucumber. I already photoshopped you with the cucumber. <laughs> These people are all over shit. You guys are good. Don't don't get yourself involved in the comments either. Transform uh, X. ZC unless, only is always ready with the cucumber, man. You're from it's a little generation, pretty much. You can take, right. you can take the ball right. the ball breaking because most right. of it is just ball breaking. Let, anyway. let them let them fly. B. A lot of these fuckers don't. They're just saying it just to just to bust balls. Some of them are really fucking funny. I only have two feelings left anyway, so you can't hurt too many of them anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Some people can't handle the piss, as they would say. Yeah. All right. Ready Over. to wrap this up? I got to drive. Yeah, thanks for coming down here tonight. Yeah, man. Anytime. Brad was off today. He was nice enough to drive down and come on. About a 40-minute drive. Yeah, I, I, that would kind of been hard to peel me out of the bed with your old lady to come over here and do a funky podcast with us two uh, fat farts. I spent most of the day <laughs> in bed with her, so watching movies. Well, we did the some Invisible we did Man, some, we sucking some, toes. We did some exercise. Yeah, yeah, we did some exercising toes, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Got, I, I put my mouth everywhere. You got toe I breath. You're the Invisible Man in that bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe if she wants to come on here, she can tell you all about it, Leonard. <laughs> I think I would find it very boring. Yeah. And that's what you—that's that's what you it. like to think. Missionary Brad. That's whatever you want to believe, <laughs> Leonard. <laughs> I got videos to prove otherwise, buddy. They better have strap-ons <laughs> and other people in that. No, we'll have videos. to put it up against Nate's video. <laughs> see, see who's got better skills. See who's bigger. I think Nate. Think so? <laughs> you 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 worry about another man's dick size. You definitely are half homo. Yeah. But, Jay's definitely a closet homosexual, by the way. Why? Because he? he called me the other night after he did that fucking live stream, like he does when he's hammered. I uh, just babbling shit. And right, I'm like Jay. I gotta go. It's like 10:30. I'm like I'm going to bed, man. He's like I want to suck your cock. He has said that to me. I don't know how many fucking times. I think he's told me before when he's drunk he wants to suck your cock, yeah. too, now that I think yeah. about it. And I bet you he would if I let him. What does alcohol do? It releases inhibition, the inhibitions that are true that you keep inside. And drunk she, man's she words or a sober man's she thoughts? Was, she was yeah. walking out when he said that. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> She's like, I bet he would, too. I bet he means that. I said, I think so. He, he said it to me a hundred fucking Did times. Did I ever tell you that, Brad? Even my... No. Cheat up state. <laughs> exactly. I said that to her. I said, even Lenny's never said that to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jay. And he's enjoying Dude, it. He's getting you, off on I it. I wish too, he was yeah. here. God damn it. I wish he was too. Fucking pussy. Not after hearing that. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, we could have gone. Well, as you always yeah. say, it's a victim of We scorch. can have a bukkake yeah. on Jay. Yeah. You're not a fag if you're, you know. Whoever gets up with Jay's face next to their cock's got a serious problem. Oh, my God. That should be the test if you're a homo or not. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I can't take listening to him breathing in these headphones anymore. You're going to get fucking ripped. We're going to catch so much shit for this. 
a little bit because that's the sleep apnea it does you actually fall asleep this is what happens late. when you hang out with these gorillas for a week you turn into one <laughs> My feel side, like one. <laughs> my side effects are staying a little, keeping at bay. Good. I'll say that ever since I got the new CPAP. Good. Good. You know, I still want feet, but not like last year. Last year I was hospitalized. Yeah, your ankles used time. to be a lot more swollen. That last time you were hospitalized, I got real it was big. A year ago, yeah. yeah. That's it was a, a year ago. That's the last time you've been in the hospital. Yeah. All right, good. Let's keep it. Keep that streak going. Forget the hospital. I'm next steps the morgue. So. That's true. And We've been I'm saying 400 pounds ripped. You probably wouldn't mind dying right now with the way the world is. It's not that, Brad. What do you mean the way? Woo, I'm scared to go out in the world, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of the Antifa commies with their skateboards. <laughs> I knew that'd get you. Pomps kind of looks a little bit like an Antifa fuck. I mean, I would love for about you five of those punks yeah, to come up on star. me and try to attack me just to test my skills. I can throw my weight around, see what I could do, you know? What the fuck? <laughs> I got hit with a bat. What, a month ago Didn't really seem to bother me Must not have hit you that hard You embellish a little bit the right These place. fucking stories Where yeah. do you hit, where do you hit you? You're right Brad I embellish <laughs> Just a little right. All that tranny a stuff bat, is not It was yeah. probably You're a right. wiffle ball <laughs> You're right It's like one of those mini bats That you get at the ballpark oh, I remember those Alright we're done Yes Yeah Alright Thanks for joining us until next time. The podcast next two time. weeks in a row. We're on a roll, man. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for coming on, Jason. You were great. Anything Very insightful want? stuff, man. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Thank ha- you. Has your so-called sponsor reached out to you yet? New World Nutritionals? I got to reach out to him. Ghosts? I, I got to reach out to him. If you're their athlete, what the fuck? No, I got to reach out to him. He a little mix up communications because the phone's a number. But all I was like saying is uh, me and Jason are going to become as freaky as we can. You're going to compete in the over 50? Yeah. Well, that doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Oh, okay. I'll do the open. I don't care. To prove that no one's bigger and harder than me, including the 20-year-olds. Get on stage. I don't give a fuck. Good. You're on a mission. All right. That's it, and that's that. Good night. <laughs>